One, two, three. Stony and Wojo. Stony and Wojo. Stony and Wojo sounds like the name of an old TV cop show. Stony and Wojo. They're on the radio. Stony and Wojo know more about sports than most other folks know. Stony and Wojo. This is their talk show. There's also humor and bits, opinions and wit, and a whole lot of situations where people call in. Yo, 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 201. There it is. They're lining them up. The big brackets on the board. What do you think there, Valani? Who do you got today? I, I'm simply here to move this along <laughs> and stay out of the way. Uh, it is our annual deal where we pay homage to one of the great bits in the history of this town's radio culture. It is Tony and Wojo Invitational. Some would even call it an old bit, but that's perfectly it's fine. It's fabulous. Because, yeah. because at, least me, at least we're old. Yeah. Hey, no, speak for yourself. Uh, I'm older than you. Yeah, thank God for that. Not wiser, uh, but older. Well, now, here's what we do. Um, top 64, just like an NCAA tournament. Uh, we've done many, many different things in the past, but we do the Valenti shows and his great compatriots, Roberto, Hatchet, and Sully. Their drops and songs from the Second past dick. year. Now, that's that not, that it. one was in the previous year's right, tournament. Right, ineligible. Correct. Yes. And, and it, if we recall, last year, didn't Terry's Let the Bitch Walk win? Yeah. I yes. believe that is correct. Yes. It's yes. a new year. It's a new year, so All that's ineligible. Stuff. Right? Um, basically, the way it's going to work, you need people to dial in right now. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. You guys get to pick the matchups. That's how this works, right? And you, when you call in, you don't get to ask. Oh, I want this game because that's my favorite drop or my favorite song. No, no, no. We give it to you at random, so you can't screw it up right. with one of your favorites or least favorites. And we just go to a region, and then we fire up half of the bracket are the drops from the last year, like I'm boat guy or uh, breasts. Stoney randomly guy. shouts things. Yeah, thank you, boat guy. Um, I'm boat guy. Thank you, boat guy. And then on the other bracket is the songs, the, the the best songs of all time. For instance, Sully, is this possible just to give people a taste? Can we just play the Uh-oh. four number one C's just to give them a taste? Sure. Because they're quick, right? Yep. Like like the number one seed in the boat guy region is. I'm boat guy. I'm boat guy. Very simple, simple. sweet, powerful. Yes. Right. The number one seed in the Sully's Pole region. I'd love to get that poll, for sure. Mm-hmm. Now, the song side of the bracket in the Stoney's Coke region, the number one seed is, oddly enough, Lend by his tie, Stoney cry, no more lines of cocaine. You are a recreational drug user. Yes, I can't touch my toe. <laughs> I don't know where the touching the toes S- thing came Sweet. from. No, I, I was explaining how it affected my life because Len Bias was an Adonis and he died, and I can't touch my toes. And I'm but you know it. drugs can kill Adonises too. I well, we yeah found, we found that that's out. the yeah. beauty of the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, it is. And then the other number one seed in the sixty four team field is from the Mike's Money region. It is the top seed. You know what, David. I want money. This is my job. I want money. <laughs> that is in reference to people. Why are you talking about so much football yeah. and lions every day? Because this isn't a hobby. We do what you guys want. <laughs> Why won't you talk about the minor league hockey in Plymouth? Talk more about the NHL, will you? Huh? <laughs> So, he said, like, aren't you bunker? <laughs> no, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> it's like a combination of that and a jerky boy. It's always one of the two. Now, Stoney, when we, we go to a caller, right. we'll ask that. Well, no, we'll give them a region so we get solely on board, and then we t- give them the 8, 9, 4, 13, whatever, so you can hear it and you can make your vote. It's very, very simple. You cannot vote on the text, although we do like text. To let people feedback. Comment. Right. Who Who's your favorite? Right. Who's overrated, underrated? If, if, if some listener makes a ridiculous pick and we decide not to veto, because we'll explain that in a second, we'll take your feedback saying, yeah, caller, caller Frank was an, a moron. 
Right. If if we catch you mm. just trying to screw up the tournament mm. and picking a big upset without any uh, substance behind it or any reasoning, then we will veto it. We don't screw around, okay? Well, most of the matchups don't have things that I might veto, though. Matchups no, and no. seedings are really good. There are some 16s that if a 16 beat a 1... Oh. I don't know if I might leave my veto in my pocket. Listen, did, did we ever settle what is already brewing as a huge snub? No, we did not. Did not get settled. Uh, Jim Price did not make it. Um, you just got a pounding, but I love it. Yeah, uh, it, it was very controversial. Okay. Uh, apparently, he had a great regular season, but lost in his conference tournament. I'm just going to file that as a gross oversight. He, you know, Mark Emmert, he, he, he needs to fire the, the head of the selection committee. Yeah, yeah, whoever that is, Sully. No, 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 it's not Sully. I don't care about the that city. dropping off. There's not much uh, context behind it. There doesn't need to be. <laughs> That's true, too. All right, do you want to get started? Sure, real quick, yes. a couple of uh, ticket texts. Um, 97136, Boat Guy is a heavy Heavy favorite. I'm Next, Boat Guy. Thank you, Boat Guy. Should you read the seedings? I feel like that would lead to some bias. Well, the seedings are posted, right? Yes. Isn't the bracket posted on the 97 one, the uh, ticket, correct. and yes, the Twitter? That, yes. So we're not going to go through the entire bracket again today. We did it yesterday, no. but we'll give you games as they unfold. All right. Fair yeah. enough. Yes. Should we start? Sure. Go ahead. All right. You, you want me to bring up the first bring one? Bring up the first contestant. Sean is in Wayne to kick off the Stoney and Mojo Invitational. What's up, guys? So happy that you had this. Uh, I've been waiting all year for it. Sean, so have we. Now, are you nervous to be the first vote in the uh, no, Sony World Invitational? Excited, Bojo. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Sully, can we get go to the Boat Guy region, if you Ooh. don't mind? I'm going to give you a 6-11 matchup in the Boat Guy region. All right, Sean? Oh, this the, is an awesome. This what? is a great oh, matchup. This is a, the best way to kick off the well, tournament. Well, sometimes the tournament starts with one of the greatest games, right? All right, the boat guy region, the number six seed. Those people? Stoney <laughs> randomly mentioning those people. Going up against the 11 seed. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard having a fit of some sort. We're going to have to say goodbye to a power program. No, 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 right, right, right off the box. Yes. Right, no doubt. Sean, selection. Despite those people being used all the time, the Kawhi laughs. And the show that came out of it was awesome. So I got to go with the Kawhi Lap, the upset here. <laughs> oh, my God. The first upset. upset, the sixth seed. Those people. You know why he lost? <laughs> David is thrilled. You know why he lost? Because of those people. That's, That's right. why. Now, the, I could still use a veto to save my... No, 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 no I'm not. I'm not I'm open not. the show. No, I wouldn't do that. Wow. You know what? I thought... That would be selfish. I thought those people got screwed in the scene to yeah, go up so against Kawhi's I. laugh. I know. But shall, then, there you go. Shall That's we how it pick works. another match? Sure. Yes. Right, let's go to Kyle, 97-1. Kyle, yeah. welcome. Hey. Kyle, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm wonderful. Uh, we're going to go a little musical here. And go to Mike's Money Region, mm. where we go to the um, the four thirteen matchup, which is a battle of the guys at the in the glass. Number four seed. It's oh. gotten ridiculous, man. Well, what I need right now is Bangkok, Bangkok, Bangkok. Exotic Asian and Latin. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. Bangkok, Bangkok. That's, Sully's fascination for the country of India. Yeah, that, like, absolutely. Mm, or something get, like that. Going up against the 13th seed and upset-minded. I am a real Michigan fan, and my fandom is now being shown to you. I love Michigan. I love the fact that we won this game today. We're going to win the Big Ten. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let me say this. The Michigan State defense, oh, it was bad. <laughs> All right, it's basically Sully against Hatchet. What do you th what do you say? Oh, you to give me Bangkok. That is an easy one. Got to be honest ridiculous, with you. Ridiculous, man. Yeah. Well, what I need right now is Bangkok. And I, he's I, celebrating. It's it's fabulous. You, you know, know how he celebrates. You knew too, that had to move through. Mm -hmm. yeah. do, do you want to get one more? Yeah, on let's the book get one here? more in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go we to got Kurt time. in New Baltimore. Up next on the Stony and Wojo Invitation. Hello there, Curtis. Hey guys, what's up? What's happening, Curtis? You go ahead. I'm pumped. Oh, Let's good, go. good, good. Pump. I'm drop. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take you to the Sully's Pole region. Is that okay, Kurt? Oh, he's pumped up. He should yeah. go for the pole. Yeah. Wants to get onto the pole region. Yeah, let's go. All right, we're going to give you. Ooh, this is a tough one. I'm going to give you the five twelve matchup in the Sully's Pole region. 
often upsets. Let's see what happens. You have the number five seed. These big black rumors. That's David Hall being unnecessarily sexy. Uh, Going up against the number 12 seed. The drug issue isn't really an issue because I do drugs, so I'm good with that. Karsh, Doug Karsh making a confession. He's admitting it. Yeah. What do you say there, mister? You know, this one actually, to me, isn't even an upset. I'm going with the 12, the the drug issue. That's uh, that's their classic 12 over over a 5. The Doug, drug issue Doug isn't Carter really issue. loves drugs. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. I'm not going to argue with that twelve over that five. You got straight laced Doug Karsh admitting that he has a horrific problem. That's Arkansas Little Rock over Purdue. Yes, yes they were the better is. team that no, day. No doubt. Slander always wins out. <laughs> the drug issue isn't really an issue because. I do drugs, so I'm good with that. Two losses for David. I feel bad for you, man. Oh, hatchet. Well, well, considering one of them was racially insensitive, I'm pretty sure he was yeah, happy so with that. That was L. fine. But I, this one, I'm sorry. People I, don't understand. And, they don't appreciate the sexiness of me. Oh, so we have, we have two hatchet losses and a loss of those people. Basically, I think it's all on racial lines now. Yeah, the, those people oh. getting eliminated in round one well, is wait stunning a minute. to me. Kawhi is advanced, right? Wow, yes. Listen, that laugh is alien. That's <laughs> not white or black. That's exactly. pure alien. We have one line open. We have dozens of matchups to go. Oh, the Stoney yes, and do. Mojo Invitational rolls on next. It's called Happy Hour for a reason. You want to sit in your cubicle for an hour and pretend to be happy? Hold on, let me look at everyone in their cubicle out there. Nope, they all look miserable. Why don't you go to B-Dubs oh. and enjoy a real happy hour? You can get a, a Detroit-area Buffalo Wild Wings for a cold, refreshing 64-ounce pitcher of Miller High Life all day, every day. Five bucks. Just five bucks. Limited time only. What are you waiting for? Gather your crew. Head to Buffalo Wild Wings. $3 to $5 all-day deals. Delicious bar food, $5 cold pitchers of Miller High Life, or as Stoney calls it back in the day, the champagne of beers. <laughs> That's old school Good right one. there. Get the champagne here. of bottled beers. Beer, beer happy. Uh, $5 Miller Lite High Life pitchers all summer long. Dining only, participating Detroit locations. Available for a limited time while supplies last. Must be 21 or older to consume alcohol. And please drink responsibly. It's the Stoney. White powder up my nose. And Wojo. <laughs> Invitational Bracket Challenge. So let the games begin. On 97 1, the ticket. Filling out that bracket. I'm Boat Guy. What matchup intrigues you the most? Bangkok 96. Definitely a number one seed. And we are back. The Stoney and Mojo Invitational rolls on. Some ticket text coming in. I took the day off unpaid so I could hear all four hours. Love all you guys. Keep up the good work. That's Chad. Woo! Can you get Boat Guy to call in again and participate? You owe it to this poor man. <laughs> we don't know if he's alive, I to wish. Be We've been hoping to hear from him. We haven't heard from him. He's never called back. Never called back. Roberto, just finished this week's podcast. Your pervy groan to Alicia Silverstone was hilarious. Oh, no. Yeah, it was not, <laughs> oh, no. not, a, not a great moment. Putting all my money on Jamie Blackface. Mm. How did Roberto's Post Malone song not make it? Hashtag pump is prime. Probably because it's the worst song he's ever done. It, <laughs> it wasn't good enough to make the cut. And Bangkok should have been a one overall seed. That's from Zane listening in NYC. And the other thing I'm noticing, major backlash on those people being eliminated by Kawhi's maybe, laugh. Maybe I should have used the veto. No, no. You can't now. I know. Can't. Mm. Shall we continue it's along a, the path? Sure. Yes, we do. Let's go to Tom and Stoney's favorite place, Ann Arbor, up next. What's up, Tommy? Hey, Tom, how are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Very, you know, it's very fitting that uh, you're in Ann Arbor, and it, Mike said it's my, your favorite place, my favorite place. Let's go to my Coke region. Stoney's Coke region. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go to the uh, the five twelve matchup. Ooh. Let's go to the wedding hall region. That's right. The five. <laughs> The rabbi's study. Anyway, we'll go on. Uh, the five twelve <laughs> matchup. Uh, it's a battle of the show that follows this one. The fifth seed. Just a folks and Wojo's got a have a have the gamut of Tangere. Don't really remember. Yes, it was gin involved. Or the Sapphire of Bombay. Let's have another one. <laughs> Against the upstart 12th seed. And I'll do my best to make sure that I can entertain you as much as humanly possible. You know, even 69 for a little bit, I did my part. Finish at the rim. 
Mm. Wojo versus Bogey, who you mm. got? Uh, I'm going to have to uh, get the uh, pervert Bogey out of this tournament, so I'm going to go with the Wojo. And, uh, <laughs> Just the folks in Wojo's got a half, a half to get it up, Jangaree. Nice, nice really selection. Remember, yes, it was gin and ball. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. We are trying to clear out all the perverts. <laughs> It's going to take a long time. Go no. to Joe I'm in Farmington. Yeah, 97 1. Joe, how are you, buddy? Hey, guys. Good. How are you? Joseph, I'm going to give you a song, okay? We're going to go back down to the Mike's Money region. And um, this is going to be a toughie. It's the 7 10 matchup in the Mike's Money region. The number seven seed. No, no, no. Are you talking specifically about me? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Dear God. That's Greg Hargrave from the morning show going up against another morning show patron, the number 10 seed. On this show, we don't see race. <laughs> we never right. see race. We don't try to promulgate a race issue. But we issues. will today. But we are going to create a race war today. Who is your all-time favorite black players? We don't like those people. Just annoying. <laughs> I like the part where Bobby Hurley was a great white American. <laughs> what do you say there, Joseph? The 7-10 hey, matchup. We got to go with Jamie and Stoney on that one. Yep, absolutely. The number 10 seed. And you know what? I don't even think that's an upset. No, creative editing nah. there, too. Oh, that was edited? <laughs> oh, oh creative. my. Are you kidding me? Very wow. creative. Very creative. Yeah, yeah. That, that, actually, those seeds probably should have been reversed. Let's go to Brendan, up next on the Stoney and Mojo Invitational. Yes, Brendan. Hi, guys. Doing, man? It's an honor. It's an honor well, to have you call, Brendan. Yeah, it's our honor, Brendan. So for that... Mojo Invitational. Yes, Brendan. Hi, guys. Doing, man? It's an honor. It's an honor well, to have you call, Brendan. Yeah, it's our honor, Brendan. So for that, we're going uh, to go back to the Boat Guy region. Oh, yes, Boat Guy region. Yes, one of the great I'm regions. Boat guy. Yeah. Hi, Boat Guy. <laughs> Hi, Boat Guy. Um, Hello, Boat Guy. All right, we'll give you the uh, the five twelve matchup. Ooh. The fifth seed. Okay. <laughs> that was just a caller just who would not just... stop saying, okay. 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 Up against the 12th seed. I am downright hard. That's Bogey, That's Bogey. again, who's obsessed with Perf. certain things. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of the caller drop, but I, we got to go with the five seed. I can't have it. Wow. Okay. 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 <laughs> See, the okay, it's very subtle and very short, so it might not have it's a like, long it run. Me, it reminds me of the great story guy, kind of. This is as subtle as quick. That's a great story. Oh, that's a great okay. story. That's a great story. Yeah. Okay. So we've eliminated... <laughs> We've eliminated, or the callers have, uh, Bogey's yeah, 69. Bo- Bogey got taken to the woodshed there. He goes, I don't even like the okay drop, but I just can't have Bogey in this <laughs> tournament. I mean, that was, that's a 25-point loss right there. Well, you know, he's a, he's a young upstart, that Bogey. Yeah. Okay. Sure he is. Yeah. Okay. I'm, a be- I'm a better Spartan than you. Okay. Okay. That okay. guy is the most okay. condescending guy in the world. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go to Darren, 97-1. What's up, Darren? Hey, good afternoon, guys. Great day. Thank you, Darren. We're enjoying the hell out of it. And by the way, Valenti came through with a tremendous pizza and salad set. Yes, he did. You asked, spread. I delivered. I know. People were asking, did Bo, uh, Valenti come through? And he sure did. All right. Did he bring you any Nutter Butters and uh, Tangerine Tonic there? Well, unfortunately, no on either uh, one of those. Do you want me to send someone? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, don't dare me. I'll make it happen. I want to make it to the end of the show, okay? Yeah, Darren, okay. If, if, okay. If, if I bring okay. the second one, it could cost Bob his job. So yeah. I, I can get the Nutter Butters. I can't get him the gin because that'll cause a real problem in this Correct. place. This place is so uptight. Please. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Darren, can I take you to Sully's Pole region? Okay. 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 I'm glad okay. you said region. Uh, I'd love to get that pole for yeah. sure. Okay, uh, the three fourteen matchup in the Sully's Pole region. You never know what happens in these games. The number three seed. Oh my God! How do you pick the Lions? How, I, how are the Lions going to win this game? The Steelers are so hot. <laughs> it's Greg again. How do you the let him talk? <laughs> well, he's special. This is a morning show on morning show matchup. Did you see? No, oh, he's special. He is. He's a, he's okay. a treasure. All right, going up against. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys have really sick minds. What? Going up against the number 14 seed. That was awesome. That's Heather. That was awesome. She's special. 
<laughs> mm. Okay, uh, Lavar. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Heather on that. Wow. Whoa. No, come on, guy. What are we just trying to pick upsets here? Wait a come minute. On. It's not even close. <clears throat> I I probably would go with, but Heather. This, that's what we used to. Greg dropping the picks every single week. I mean, that's no. this isn't even close. Sully's yeah. heated. Oh my lord. Sully's going rolling oh, Massimino. Let's hear here. For, hold on a second. We'll you have Domino. Do we want to give we have we have a veto each? Do we want to give one? Because last year Mike used a veto. Do we want to give one veto to the show? To Sully, Hatchet, Roberto, and Mike as a group. They can use one. They v- get one, they and get the mean one. you still have one. Yeah, so we have three total okay, vetoes. Okay, but they all, if they want to use it, they all four have to agree. Yes. Okay. It's up to you guys. I'm not vetoing. Okay. I'm not vetoing. I'm either. with Sully. This should be vetoed. Okay. Greg R- should win here. Roberto. I know, but I'm kind of of a holdout because even as good as the Greg one is, I don't know if I see it going really advancing where I would want to use the veto. You know what I mean? Oh. Summer penis. Well, if that was the one, I would go for that. <laughs> Wait, Stony, we, we, what was the context of that? I can't even think. I've been, I've been racking my brain of, of for which, days. Of which? Stop. Summer, blah, blah, blah. We're, we're that so you. many laughs out of it that Greg drop. It was talking about basically the opposite of shrinkage. There was oh, some right. studies. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank All right. You. That's enough. Roboter or Roberto? Roberto? Back to, the, back right. to uh, if, if Mike wants to join them in three to one, then I'll go and we'll veto that. I want these two to make the pick. It's a Stoney and Wojo Invitational. I try to just move this along. I like them both. I like Greg. I say we just keep it as it is. Let's save our veto. No, hold on. Bob, what do you think is better for the, the credibility of this tournament? I think saving the veto is better for the credibility. Because you're not... I mean, saving Greg is right there, he's not going to go Steelers that far. Steelers are just so hot. That's, that's, that's a shame. That's terrible. No, it is a shame. It's I a know. shame that those people... Mike, that you want, awesome. Mike, you want the veto? You want Mike? Do you want the veto? You and your little Philly shirt. Do you want that? You Word three. Do you want the veto? No, like you said, let them decide. Oh no, no, we're giving you. Valeni doesn't want to vote. We're giving you three a veto if you all Is three it agree. Is it two one? You want the veto? It's up to you. Not unanimous, so no. All right, no veto. Okay. You're not going to use... Wow, Roberto is the cause for Greg's can death. We, can we hear Greg on the way oh out? My God. How do you pick the Lions? How, how are the Lions going to win this game? The Steelers are so hot. Use the veto. It has to stay. Roberto, stand down. I'm using it. I'm using it right now. Greg stays. All right. That's done. They're All done right. Veto. The show veto has been I, used. I'm, I'm using it. Sully's right. We use it in the picks every mm-hmm. week. It's every become week. legend. Yeah. We we have to keep it. I'm sorry, Heather. Like like she's actually listening. Look, the the point is, she um, is. now Greg's gonna go on a run after this. Now, yes. no, I think that's a good move by you guys because no, we can still no, save no, it. Now you say it. Yeah. More of the Stony and Wojo Invitational wow. next. Ninety-seven wow. one. Well, if you were trying to quit smoking, not alone. It takes most people multiple tries to quit. Everyone's different too. But studies have shown that with each quit attempt, you actually learn more about what works for you, and you get closer to quitting for good. So no matter how many times you've tried to quit. Never truly failed at it if you're still trying to do so. So check out the website, everytrycounts.gov, for tips, helpful tools, more information that will help you in the journey towards quitting once again. The website, check it out, everytrycounts.gov. All right, Stoney and Wojo Invitational rolls on. Quickly some ticket text, then right back to the matchups after a controversial veto. Ooh, keeping wow. Greg in. Let's go to my Coke region. Needs to be added to the bracket for next year. That's Ian sitting in my car during my lunch break. Glad I tuned in. Vetoing Heather's a travesty. <gasps> And Boat Guy would like to call in, but he's busy being a babe magnet on Lake St. Clair. <laughs> he says, if it's rocking, don't bother knocking. Oh, Ron wow. In Good job, Boat Guy. The beautiful, beautiful sunset. I would hey. say your veto has generally been endorsed on the ticket text, but there's definitely some those that disagree. Let's hey. get to it. Go ahead, Mike. Sorry. By the way, typical Lions lore, the Lions have won the supplemental draft lottery and decided not to take anybody. That's a good move. Mm. The, you, the, come the, on. the one guy who was taken, everybody said was good, Jalen Thompson, a safety from Washington State, went to Arizona in the fifth round. So that means he's going inter- to intercept Stafford opening day and win the game. Oh, sure. That'd help us all. Yeah. Let's go mm-hmm. to Trent, <laughs> 97 1. Trent, you are up next. What's going on, boys? How are you? Hello, Trent. We're wonderful. All right. Uh, Let's go to my Coke region again. Oh, my God, Stoney, filling up on the Coke region. Ah, you know what? The, what the heck? Uh, it's the 8-9 matchup <sighs> in the Coke region, Ooh. and you always know how 8-9 matchups can go. Mm. It's the 8 seed. I have a 
come across. Um, 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 um. Yeah, it is. That's uh, Matt Patricia after Jalen Thompson intercepts the ball uh, <laughs> against the nine seed. Oh, I'm but, just telling you, that's my opinion. By, well, I don't care. You know, I mean, you, I know, you, got, you don't you care got, about my opinion. That's okay. No, I'm you don't care about my opinion. I said that's Matt Patricia against Pat and Dennis arguing with each other. We like. Oh, boy. I definitely like the nine seed. Anything with Caputo is gold. Whoa! You know Down that? goes yeah. Patricia! I don't, I don't blame you. I don't either. Uh, you know, and there's too many um people from the Lions, okay? Let's go to Corey. Good pick. Up next in the Stoney and Wojo invitation. How's it going, boys? Hello, Quarrens. How are you? Quarrens. Hmm. Oh, just another day. Yep, Ready sure is. It. All right. Uh, let's take you to the, um, you know what? Let's stay in the Stoney's Coke region. I haven't been able to pick one in the Stoney's Coke region yet. Uh, this is, oof. This is a toughie. The three fourteen matchup in the Stoney's Coke region. First, you have the three seed. You want to know why I dream about Zion Williamson? Absolute dream. I love nothing more. My dream, my dream is to have Zion Williamson. All I want to do is make love to Zion, Zion, Zion. I want Zion Williamson. I want Zion. That's uh, Sully having an affair with Zion. Um, plenty to grab onto there, certainly. Uh, <laughs> going up against the 14 seed. There are great smells of the balls. Wow. Who wants to see that? <laughs> oh, God. The whoosh, the smell is so I, is I've experienced that yeah. smell before. It's not nasty, but it's not good. <laughs> you smell pretty damn good when we, we know fresh how you balls. feel about fresh balls. Fresh balls, I mean, they smell wonderful. What the hell do you people do in the morning? All right, that's a morning show. Balls song, 14 versus a three. Who do you got? Oh, man, it took a buzzer beater, but Sully's dream barely edges it out. Wow. That's right. That's you know, right. He drew a tough 14 seed, I'll be honest, well, and he pulled think, it out. I didn't think Zion knew how to hit a buzzer, be- a buzzer beater. <laughs> buzzer. He dunked. <laughs> Wow, the hatred of Zion is so no. strong for Mojo. It's unreal. I know. He's 500 pounds. Did you see him? You done yet? Yes. Let's go to Mitch. God, you're amazing. Mitch, welcome aboard. How you doing? Hey, guys. Long time yeah. listener, first time caller. That's cool. You calling us from Haiti? Hey. Hey there, little guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll go to the we'll, we'll go to the boat oh guy. We'll go to the boat guy region. Oh my god. All right, here we go, Mitch. Uh, this is a great matchup. This is an amazing matchup. I hope you can handle it. Oh boy. It's the 710 right, matchup in the boat. What? So here we go, boy. Right, here you it. go. The 710 matchup in the boat guy region. The seventh seed. Six more inches. Oh, Dan Dickerson. Very fitting. Measuring it out. Uh, against the 10 seed. Hey, I'm Coach O. Tell him about it, JoJo. You need a Hummer. Coach O? Uh, Coach Orgerin. Hmm. This one's lethal. Mm. Uh, every time I hear it, I crack up. It's got to be Coach O. Hey, I'm Coach O. Tell him about it, JoJo. You need a Hummer. Wow. Down goes Dickerson. That's surprising. And you know what? It is a game of inches. And, and six wasn't enough, six apparently. More inches. And Thank you. if people aren't familiar with where it's from, you could YouTube the now infamous 2004 Hummer dealership commercial <laughs> where we actually had our listeners call to find out if JoJo still worked there. Yes. <laughs> and see, we play the Dickerson drop all the time. The Cocho, as great as it is, that is one of those seasonal ones where we Good. only yep. really use it during football. That's but, interesting. But we, in, we enjoy it. Yo, of course. Yeah. Orgeron is a legend. I, I either Coach are you good with that? Yes. Ten over okay. seven. That's not even yeah. a big upset. Sure. Justin is up next. Ninety-seven one. Justin, welcome in. Hey guys. Hello, Justin. Justin, may I take you to the Sully's Pole region? Let's do it. Okay. Uh oh, God. I, this is one of the powerhouse matchups in the first round. The eight. Nine matchup. Oh, this oh, is. This scares is. Me. I am so nervous about Justin, this one. Justin, you better really oh. focus here. This Justin, is, mm. focus. I'm ready. The number eight seed. You can lick it against the number nine seed. Oh. I get criticized because a lot of times it's high. Go number two and then don't wipe. You got Stony oh. lick it versus Stony don't wipe it. Hmm. That's a tough. I gotta go with the nine seed on this one. It's ridiculous. Did- 
Down goes Lickett. Down goes Lickett. Not even an upset in my mind. I couldn't lose. It's it's no, no. I couldn't those win. Are, those are two. I think whatever one made it through would challenge the one seed there. Absolutely. What? <laughs> what? I just, poor Sony can't even celebrate his victory because he doesn't want to wipe it to advance. Eh, whatever. Right. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> No. Did he have... No, quite frankly. He like feigned no. he feigned excitement. Yeah. You know, it was a tough oh, game. Oh, God, you're crazy. Yes, someone had to win. Not someone had to lose. Someone had to win. There's somebody else. By Sorry the way, about that, dude. Can't uh, say potty words. You can't. A real quick Ticket Tech's reaction as it happens. Coach O over six more inches. Oh, my God. I'm literally boiling with anger. No. Oh. Wow. But the I mean, ticket, instant feedback. That's what it is. I, I don't have a veto to use. There's nothing. The I six can more do. inches gets used every single day. No, no, I don't have a problem with it. I like saying. that Sully is just gonna rip whatever people do. There's no winning for the listeners I with know. Sully. I, I used to be the same way. It's, 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 it's about being young and passionate. Can I go to Alan? Yeah. And hopefully Alan keeps <laughs> it clean. All yeah. right. Alan, how are you, my man? Alan. Excited to be a part of this. Well, Welcome. All, all right. right, give him his matchup. All right, please. Alan, we're going to take you to the Mike's Money region. Ooh. And you're going to have the all honor, right. if I'm reading this correctly, of advancing, if you like, or pulling a big upset. Our first number one seed oh, is in action. We have not had a one seed yet. Okay, here we go. The top seed. And you know what? David. Uh, 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 I, I want money. 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 Going well, up against he's singing this, about his favorite thing. Mm -hmm. Going up against the 16th seed. <laughs> I think it's better than his regular drop. Yeah, That's so Kawhi on the Bon Jovi song. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you got there, I, Mr. Well, uh, well, this one's not really that tough, I don't think. Uh, the Kawhi last one's already got a spot in the second round. And I don't know what it is, Mike. That song really speaks to me. So uh, <laughs> I have to go with the one season. You know what? You got yeah. it. Uh, 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 I want money. That's a bl that was a 29 and a half point spread, yeah. and you still covered the spread. Nice. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll take it. Yep. He um, advances. All right. We are on, we are on pace, gentlemen. We, sure have, we, we are. have four more matchups, correct? Uh, for the first round? Yeah, to to be on track, we got to do sixteen oh, we're good. an we're hour. Good. We're, oh, good. we're good. We're fine. We're oh, fine. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. More uh coming up next. Big powers at it again, raising rates. Enough. Don't pay their high rates and increases. Pay yourself. Go solar. Power Home Solar makes it easy to switch to solar by hooking you up with battery storage with your installation. So when the longer days produce more energy, you can store it, use it later. Own your power. Don't rent it. Power Home Solar, number one residential solar provider in Michigan, one of the top solar installation companies in the nation. Power Home installs American-made panels, a 30-year warranty, so you can own your power, not just rent it from the power company. And as official partner of the Lions, they've installed panels at Ford Field and Allen Park. They are building a movement towards cleaner, greener energy. To see if solar's right for you, go to powerhome.com. That's powerhome.com, or give them a call at one 800 Solar 15, schedule your free solar consultation today. Don't rent it, own it with help from Power Home Solar. Hey, whoa, just almost time for a classic old bit. You know what's coming on? I think they, I think, uh, what we said, three o'clock? Hmm, what's at three? Piston Sixers. Oh, on the Summer uh, League ball. Summer League. Yeah. I wonder who Sony's going to root for in that game. Philadelphia <laughs> or the Pistons? Go Pistons. <laughs> Mike, can you double check the wire? Did the Pistons acquire Russell Westbrook yet? Oh, wow. I farted. Oh, Heather. <laughs> you know, she's pissed that she got knocked out, so she's just blowing wind all over she's her tournament. She's hungover. She went to Dave Matthews last night. That's why she didn't work today. I farted. All right already. My goodness. <laughs> Let's go to Aaron. Yesterday was Taco one. Tuesday. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> hey, what's going on, boys? Hello, Aaron. Are you ready to play in the tournament? I'm ready to play. All right, Aaron, I'm going to take you to the, let's go to the Stoney's Coke region. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's we a got a good region. one here. 
It is the 7-10 matchup. Always tight. You never know what's going to happen. The number seven seed. That's Stafford doing aha um hum. Uh, going up against the number 10 seed. Excuse me. Bye. I just put my big black coffee in my hand. Big, big black, black coffee. Black coffee. It is aromatic. Ah, oh, so dark. Wow, you got Matthew Stafford against Valeni talking about black coffee. Hmm. That is really hard, boys, but uh, don't be mad. I'm picking uh, Matthew Stafford. The wise choice, the higher seed. It's a classic. And thanks to Mike Valeni, Matthew Stafford won a postseason game. That's right. That's right. That's right. We, we are, our benevolence knows no boundaries. Can you imagine at the end of his career if he, if they actually put that on his Wikipedia <laughs> postseason like one in five and it's got an asterisk Stony and Wojo Invitational <laughs> first round victory seven ten <laughs> seven has a seven seed I guarantee now that you said that someone's going to go on his Wikipedia and change it <laughs> oh right you're probably right yeah let's go to Phil who's up next on the Stony and Wojo Invitational yes Philip hey guys how we doing what's up we're doing Phil. wonderful. Wonderful. Hey, let's go to the, uh, let's Phil, let's go to the Sully's Pole region, shall we? Mm, Let's do it. All right. We have the fourth seed, ladies and gentlemen, the Hatchet Man. We might lose our Browns. Oh, very angry Hatchet Man. We might lose our Browns. Oh, jeez. Very big Pittsburgh Steeler fan. Yeah. Uh, Going against the 13th seed, Woji. That sounds like load management. That sounds like load management. That sounds like load management. That's me? Does it affect you, Phil, knowing that Wojo was probably in his underwear when he called the morning show and said that? It makes me a little nervous, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As it should. Your selection. I am going to have to go with the hatchet, man. Yes. Yes. Yep. That's well a good done. Pick. That's well a good done. pick. I might have vetoed it myself if I had won that, <laughs> to be and honest. And I also think there's a bonus with that because you do hear church organ in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that, you that, do. That's an added benefit. We might lose our Browns! Oh, there is that background. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you hear him hitting the table, too. Yeah. We might lose our brown. Oh, you do. You hear something new every time. So that sets up a hatchet versus Karsh second round matchup. Oh, wow. wow. Drugs versus the pastor. It's a big matchup. <laughs> uh-huh. let's, let's go to Frank. A class, who's of up next. Cl- clash of cultures. That's right. Hello, Frank. How are you? Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you guys doing today? Hello, Franklin. Um, can I take you to the uh, boat guy region? Sure can. And here comes the second number one seed to take the court. It's the one sixteen matchup in the boat guy region. You got the top seed. I'm boat guy. I'm boat guy. Who's not listening because he's on his boat. Going up against the number sixteen seed. That's the talk radio idiots. That's Tom Izzo talking about um Valenny. That's not true. I'm boat guy. Frank? Yep. Who you got? All right. So I feel like this matchup's going to go like Virginia in 2019 because the one seed's going all the way to the championship. That's right. That's I'm both right. guy. The beautiful, oh, guy. beautiful, Ooh. beautiful. Thank you. You scared me. I thought you were he talking about Virginia you. in 2018. The yes. He, he thank you. you out, well, Joe. That was great, Frank. I thought you were going to go sail with Sail out into the middle of Lake St. Clair. I got a sailboat. Claire. The beautiful sunset. Do you think he's listening? Watch the beautiful, beautiful sunset beautiful, into beautiful. the west. No, I don't, because I think Roberto ruined this man's life. <laughs> like, he just, the How songs could, and the drops. How could we've never heard from him again? Because Roberto ruined his life. Do you think, did Boat Guy ever confirm there's a Boat he's Gal? He's like Mortimer Duke in Trading <laughs> Places. <laughs> Whether he wanted it or not, I made him famous. <laughs> He's hold up like I a... take my sail to the sailmaker. <laughs> I got a sailboat. <laughs> for, 
For those who don't know, there was a guy that called in and said that's his favorite summer pastime. Well, I got to okay. tell you, we, we also have a, a, a legend of this program, uh, a personal friend of Sully. Uh, uh, th- 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 it's Paul and Shelby who joins us on the line <gasps> next. Hello, Paul. Whoa. Not the same Paul and Shelby? No. Oh, it's different a different one? guy. There can't wow. be two Pauls what? and Shelby. He runs that. This uh, the old Paul and Shelby. He used to... There's a bunch of Italians out there. There's a bunch of Paul. <laughs> Everybody's named Paul. I was looking for the Paul break down the uh, 93 Wings power play like he did in the day. Sure. Right. Yeah, well, thank you, Sonny. Well, welcome, Paul. Mm-hmm. Are you ready for your matchup? Yes, honor and a privilege, boys. All right. We go to Mike's Money Region mm. for a battle of hatchets. <gasps> It's the 8-9 matchup. Oh, no. Choose no. your hatchet wisely. It's the 8th seed. The hatchet man says, I want to sit so bad. That's what I want. All the women want me. <laughs> Going up against the ninth Ooh. seed. I just go. Call up and you can get on. Say, if you want to talk whatever, don't complain to me that we're not talking about it. From the bottom of my heart. And then you don't want to get on the radio and talk about it. That's a classic matchup of sexy hatchet versus angry hatchet. I know. Huh. I got to say, great work, Roberto. Yeah, um, oh, for sure. But nothing gets me laughing like when David loses it on a collar. It is like one of the <laughs> highlights of my day. So that's the number nine <laughs> seed, right? Hatchet rant. Seed. You know I, what? I think, I think it's the right choice. I, I do too. too. I do too. I think that's like Seton Hall, Arkansas, and Seton Hall's the nine, and they're favored by a point and a half over right. the eight. Absolutely. And they I'm, get it done. I'm glad you separated them, though, because I would never want to like see sexy and angry hatchet together as, as one. But I'm sure you just gave Roberto an idea, so that's positive. <laughs> How often does Mrs. Hatchet see each one of those what, angry and sexy? What's the difference between the two? I don't know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Roughly eight, maybe ten, twelve inches. Oh, Apparently all the inches are out already. Right. Uh, do we want to get one more match? Sure. Let's, all right, let's, in. let's go to Mike in Detroit, 97.1. Mikey, welcome aboard. How's it going, gents? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Michael, Michael good afternoon. Uh, we're going to squeeze one in, so to speak. We're going to head to the Sully's Pole region, and we have okay. the 7-10 matchup, another very tight one in the Sully's Pole region, the number 7 seed. Give me my steak, medium well. That's Stephen A. Hatchet going up against the number 10 seed. Do it live. I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live. That's <laughs> Bill O'Reilly. Uh, I've got to go with the hatchet. I, I love that drop. Give me my steak. Medium, Medium well. well. It's great. Wow. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Wow. Was yeah. was that in the tournament last year? We haven't checked the files. We do not know. I don't um, think so. I don't, I don't know. We have to check. check. Maybe my memory with all my I don't, past stuff is I'll astray. leave it to the guys because they, they are the driving force to putting it together. I just. Good call, I'm, Mike. I'm heartbroken that we've lost Sting playing us out. I know. Yeah, but how do you beat Thanks medium so. well? Oh, there he goes. Do it live! <laughs> He's going to be like Heather now. He's just going to be crapping all over the tournament the rest of the I time. farted. All right again, Heather. <laughs> all right. Now listen. We've got plenty more matchups to go. What is the biggest upset so far in your mind? Well, the one that got vetoed. Heather Greg, well, over what about, Greg. Well, uh, but that got vetoed. Doug Karsh over Sexy David. That the drug a... issue isn't really an issue. Oh, no. I That's drugs, the big so one. Good with that. I think 11 over 6, Kawhi over Stoney's those people. That, that might be. That was no, a shocker. because Kawhi's really good. So is those people. I know, but it's not that huge of an upset is what I'm saying. We will continue momentarily. I like that those people lost to those people. Okay, that's <laughs> that's something only Bob could get away with. 97-1. WXYT FM and WXYT HD1 Detroit. 971 The Ticket. A radio.com sports station. Sports headlines. All day, every day. This is 971 The Ticket. With the All-Star Game now in the books, Tigers have to take the next couple of nights off before they return to action on Friday as they open up a seven-game road swing. We'll start with a weekend series against the Royals. Following that series, though, Detroit said head back to Cleveland, side of this year's Midsummer Classic, to open up a four-game series with the Tribe. 
Pistons trying to remain undefeated in Summer League play this afternoon. They'll take on the 76ers out in Vegas. Tip off in that one just after three. And so far in the Stoney and Wojo Invitational, I'm Boat Guy, the Kawhi Laugh, Caller OK, and Coach O's Hummer advancing in the Boat Guy region. Doug does drugs, Stony White, Hatchet Browns, Media Well, and Greg Lyons. Moving on in the Sully's Pole region, but not without controversy. Heather's Awesome originally picked to advance over Greg, but that was vetoed by Mike and his crew, so Greg lives to fight on another day. Mike likes money, Sully Bangkok, Jamie White, and Hatchet Rant also moving on in Mike's money region, while Wojo cheers, Pat Dennis Song, Sully Zion, and Stafford Aha still alive in Stoney's Coke region. From the Ticket Update Desk, I'm Ryan Woolley. For more, go to 971theticket.com. We're looking at some of these matchups. Breasts. This is a team that can win and win big. The drug issue isn't really an issue because I do drugs, so I'm good with that. You never know what could happen. It's the Stony. I like the Stony cocaine. And Wojo. Oddly enough. Invitational Bracket Challenge on 97 won The Ticket. Hour number two of the annual Stony and Wojo Invitational of all of our audio nonsense on this program. Mm. Ticket texts are flying in. Mm. The wiki mm. page for Stafford was already changed. Oh, come on. No, guys. it wasn't. Don't do that. Oh, Jesus. I'm a little. <laughs> <laughs> we made one joke about congratulations on his first postseason <laughs> win, and you hyenas go and do that. Uh, I'm a little concerned for Boat Guy only narrowly escaping the first round exit. The Stafford Um song may be Roberto's greatest song he's ever made. Stafford's Wikipedia page is vandalized with Wojo Stony bracket victory. Can we please get a picture of that before it gets changed back? Yeah, yeah. Change that's back, why you can't dude. rely on Wikipedia anymore. The Hatchet call- Caller song is gold. It's dangerous as a sleeper. As a nine seed, Ooh, you're right. It is very sure. dangerous. Mm. Um, do you want to get into the matchups? Yeah, we can. By the way, everybody loving Wooly's update, and it's very good. We've got our our crack staff keeping everybody up to date. And what I'm is boat guy? Thank you, boat guy. Uh, it, no, baby. Yeah. We're almost through the first round, and there have been a few upsets, but I think the seeding's been pretty good. Uh, three is advanced. Seven, five. There was a 12 over a four, 5. That with happens a, in the NCAA yes. tournament. It, it, I think it's following the four. You don't want chalk. One, it wouldn't be right. any fun. Exactly. exactly. I mean, I'm mourning the loss of six more inches and those people, um, but you can't mourn something you never had. Stunning. <laughs> Let's go to <laughs> Paul on a cell. Are you ready for your matchup, Paul? Ah, Stoney and Mojo Damas, Genius Sir. Thank you, oh, Paul. Oh, yeah. How are you? That's remember Mr. Wojo yeah. Genius Sir. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, let's sir. go to uh my Coke region again. This is an interesting matchup. Hmm. Four thirteens always, you know, the favorites usually Ooh. win, but in some years you never know. The fourth seed. I've been stroking. I'd love to get that pull. That's what I'm Maybe been 10, 12 inches. I've been stroking. Enough, guys. Can we be mature about something for once? Six more inches. Enough. I'd love to get that pull. Mind out of the gutter. How could the Sully Pole song not be in the Sully Pole region? Shocking. They send them on the road. Well, you know what? They didn't. They're out of conference schedule. Not That's strong good. enough. That's good. That's good. Uh, but it'll be going up against the 13 seed. Women want me. I love that ass. So, Sully loving the pole and Hatchet loving the ass. Where are you going to go on this one? <laughs> as good as the 13 seat is, you have to go chalk and go to the four seat. Yeah, yeah you got it. Yeah. I'd be stroking. I'd love to get that pole. Mm-hmm. Maybe 10, 12. No! Yeah. The, the, the. Listen, no! Dickerson. And Heather Sparks have not accepted that they've been eliminated. I, they I farted. Jump. All right, Heather. <laughs> Come on, I love that ask. Wait, but Come on, you were up against it in the against the poll. I mean, please, you weren't going to win that matchup. Go to Sean in Farmington up next on the Stony and Wojo Invitational. Hi, Sean. The one two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was that again? Jamie, that, 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 it's funny. Jamie asked that this morning. I wish that, I wish that was in, but it was a one-day thing. Like it never. 
It never took off. I'm just pumped Sean remembered oh, yeah. it. Oh, it was a, bra- a baseball broadcast. It was, yeah, it was a no-hitter. It was Casey the... Mize's no-hitter. Yes. And the one-two. The one-two. <laughs> the one, two. All right, Sean, you obviously respect the tournament and respect the show, so I'm going to give you an... Um, let's head to the Sully's Pole region, and let's do the 6-11 matchup. All right? You have... All right. The number six seed. Wow, that's a great story. Oh, that's a great story. Oh, no. Yeah. Going up against Dennis Fithian in the 11 seed. Um, a very frustrated Dennis Fithian. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, I just want to say, before I make my pick, I had the honor of choosing the championship last year for the first uh, Mike Blenny hosted Invitational. So thank you guys for taking my phone call. Oh, you, you uh, picked uh, Let the Bitch Walk? I sure did. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, um, but we're going to go with the six seed. That was a great story. Wow, that's yeah. a great story. That's a great story. It's just a level of, of condescension that you just, it, it, it's, it's perfect. Correct. It's uh, yeah. a great selection. And, and Dennis is very subtle. The, um... Well, plus, we got in a lot of trouble for the Dennis song we made with that. So it's probably best Oops. that that goes away. Oops. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Should we find our next one? Yes. How about Josh? What hold about on, Josh? hold on one second. Oh, you, you just you ready? Yeah. Now nah, I give you Josh. I don't want you to have to work today. Oh, You're kind enough to come in. My oh, job is okay. to feed you. My job is to move this along. My job is to make you look good. It, it, I don't want you working. I know how you get when you extend your arms out. You get all sweaty. It's a disaster. I get so sweaty. <laughs> it's disgusting. I love not working. Let's go, Wait to a Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, how are you? Oh, great, man. Great, thank you. Stoning. All right, Josh, here we go. I it's, love Coke. It's <laughs> Let's go to that Coke region again. No, let's go to the boat guy region, because we only have uh, had four advance in the boat guy I'm region. Boat guy. Yeah. I'm All boat right. guy. All right, let's do the uh, three fourteen matchup. The oh, third. no. This is a great, this is a, oh. bi- a Big Ten classic. This, yes, this, is, this has got Diedrich Willoughby and Fred Hoiberg era Iowa <sighs> State written all oh, over no. it. This is an upset possibility. Yes, indeed. The third seed. Wisconsin's a good team. <laughs> Sully, Wisconsin's a good team. <laughs> Going up against the 14th seed, Brandy. It's sack time. Sack time. Oh, mm-hmm. that's, I, I feel like that's an easy one. I got to go Brandy. I what? agree. There it is. Whoa! And Hampton has taken down I am Iowa completely State. Completely fine with that. Oh, that's an easy one. Yeah, I mean that was a misseeding, if you ask me. I love that. Agree. That Once was. You guys made fun of me for the Wisconsin thing. Come on, that was a huge bit on the show. That was, but listen, sack wow. time. We love making fun of that broadcast, so it's perfect. For hey, us. I am more than happy with Plus, that. Plus, it again proves Wisconsin was not a good team. I told him they're they going to lose by twenty-eight. He goes, Wisconsin's a good, good team. team. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite weeks ever. <laughs> it was. We do have confirmation, by the way, that the Wikipedia Stafford page has been changed. We oh, apo- thank God. We apologize. No, thank no. God. Changed to ours. Oh, no. Yes. What does it say? It says at the very end of the uh, bot, just one line. He also is the winner of the Stoney and Wojo Bracket Challenge on 97 won the ticket. He only won one game. No. Yeah. No. Now, if that song wins. No, ah. there's more to the Wikipedia page. There's more? If you go down to his postseason games, they have all his losses. <laughs> then underneath, won a first-round matchup in the second annual Stoney and Wojo Invitational oh. as a seven seed, defeating the 10th seed, Mike Villani, who was singing about Big Black Coffee. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't have that part of it. That's, now, that's funny. That you one gotta, is funny. we got to get a picture of that. we got to send that to TJ. Oh, especially now, TJ's retired. He can probably actually laugh publicly about it. Oh, my God, let's go to TJ. TJ should call and make a selection, by the way. Uh, sure. I mean, if he you know wanted, what? He's People probably, wanted his burp, burp on in the field. His, Remember that? His accidental burp yeah. song is another good one. That was uh, over a year ago, though. Oh, oh, okay. Well, this coffee's good. <laughs> Let's go to Joe in Troy. Joe, how you doing, buddy? Very good. Thanks for having me. It's Welcome. Honor. Joseph, can I take you to the Mike's Money region? Sounds good. Who doesn't like it? Who does? Oh, no, well, everybody like, likes, everybody likes Mike's me? Money. All right, here we go. We're going to give you the... 6-11 matchup in the Mike's Money region. You have the number six seed. Watch her. Mike Valenti's own. 
It's the Mike Valenti Show, starring Mike Valenti. This thing should be called the colon explosion. Mike Sullivan. Bangkok 96. David Hall as the hatchet man. I don't care about the city. And Roberto. Roberto shakes his hand and goes, I'm going to f*** your wife. (laughs) That's the Valenti intro song for the Valenti Show, going up against the number 11 seed. Let's cut the bull. You must do it. I want to make you sweat. Let's cut the bull. Montez Sweat, 6'5", 260, 44140. I want to make you sweat. That was Valenny begging for Montez Sweat. What do you say there, Joseph? Uh, I, I think this is a pretty clear runaway. It's a lot of chalk. Pick the six. Yep. The intro. Yeah, the, yeah. The, no, that that was actually the, a the overly cheesy on mm-hmm. purpose mm-hmm. intro. Yep, yep. Anything featuring Joey Diaz deserves to win. Uh, that's just how I feel about yeah, it. Yeah, I th- I thought that was a complete mismatch. Safe selection there. Mm-hmm. Um, Mike, are we pacing all right here, brother? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, mm-hmm. so on, let's keep it timely. We will get more matchups momentarily. Oxygen, please. Woji, get the ticket text in order. And savage work by the listeners on the Stafford Wiki. Uh, tremendous. Hold on. Apparently, it's already been co- corrected. Okay, that's good. Good. That's good. Yeah. We got a cheap laugh. Now we can move on. <laughs> We're making the wiki people work. Precision Jewelers, you've heard us talk about them for years. It's probably the only way that Stafford will ever get a ring. If you're in the market for a big ring, like Sully, oh, Precision. That's so unfair. Oh. What? He'll get rings. Where? <laughs> At Precision Jewelers. He ain't getting them in the NFL. Whether you're looking for an engagement ring or maybe like Stafford looking for any ring of substance in football, precision will treat you right. (laughs) Yeah, he'd be running around like Dombrowski with his AL Central ring, right? (laughs) AL ring. Okay, Diesel. (laughs) Whoa, let's get it back on the rails here. Holy smokes. (laughs) All right, family owned for over 50 years. Years. I mean, that's almost as long as it's taken the Lions to win a playoff game. Precision, two great locations. East side, you can go to Grass Shit and Roseville. West siders can go to the Westland Store, intersection of Warren and Wayne Road. And online anytime, myprecisionjewelers.com. That's myprecisionjewelers.com. Rolls on the ticket text are flying in. Mm. Uh, Woji in a very sporty pair of uh, Wilford Brimley diabetes shoes. What? Those Why shoes. You... Those shoes are remarkable. They're Skechers. They have Velcro. No, they do not. <laughs> All right, listen. Up on a ladder, painting the exterior of my house, laughing and hoping I don't fall. Keep up the great work. Clarence Carter's stroking should win the whole damn thing. Mm. O'Reilly going down is heartbreaking. Mm. I love how much Stoney loves the Valenny intro song. I think he's secretly pulling for it, even over his own Coke song. Wait, Stoney, did you really laugh your ass off about that one? For that one? Yeah, I think you did. And the Mm -hmm. final one, and I got to tell you, I think Wojo wants this to happen. What? (laughs) God, I hope Westbrook gets traded to the Pistons with all you guys in the same room. No, 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 don't do it today. No. It's We're looking having... more and more like uh, Miami, though, as of a few minutes ago. They're going to they're gonna probably trade one of Winslow or Adebayo, a, a pick in like 2025, and, Darich, right? and then, yeah, it'll be Dragic. Dragic. It'll be, you know, I, hell, it'll be the dead body of James Johnson. <laughs> Is Haslam still on the roster? <laughs> <laughs> they trade their coaching staff. So what we so what we've heard and we always hear stuff like this. Russell Westbrook has been liking photos of him in a Heat jersey, but then also Brian Winters just said Russell Westbrook wants to go to Miami and the Heat want him as well. OKC want OKC wants to move out of the luxury tax with any rush trade, but Miami being hard capped, it is difficult. Both teams waiting for the other to blink in negotiation. Oh, see, I that's exactly how I thought it would unfold. Good because my Keep Oklahoma City does not have the leverage. Keep, All right, keep, let's see. Keep that chemo factory out of here. Oh, my God. No, Bring thank rust you. to us. 
Oh, my God. Hashtag bring Russ to us. I farted. I'm the- Heather is so pissed. Stoney, you better make amends with her she's tomorrow morning. She's trying to become a one, one seed next year's tournament. Let's That's go to Fozzie, 971. What's up, Foz? Hey, how's it going? Good, buddy. What's <laughs> up? Foz, man, can I take you to a region? Sure. All right. Um, you know what? Let's go to the boat guy region. Uh, for the 413 matchup, you never know what's going to happen in a 413 matchup. You got the number four seed. They listen to you, my. A caller, they listen to you, Mike. Going up against the 13 seed. Big black coffee. <laughs> that is a very tough one, but mm-hmm. I'm going to go with they listen to you, Mike. They listen to you, Mike. Wait, wait, Sully, hold on. How did that become so damn popular? Like, like okay isn't, but this one is. Because he was mocking other callers, yeah, wasn't I think he? Yeah, because then we slowed down the, the clip a little bit, and it kind of just... You did something off. to the clip? No. no. Never. Never. People just get just caught up. <laughs> Mike, the, they listen to you, Mike. Let's go over they to... They listen to you, oh. Mike. Go to Brian and Taylor. That is number one. Brian, how you doing? Hey, guys. Hello, hey, Brian. What's up, Brian? Honor to be here. Well, it's an honor for us to take you to my Coke region. Okay. Let, me, let me take you to the rabbi study room. <laughs> That's right. Circa 1990. Stony, Stony, you love your Coke here, huh? Yeah. Hey, here we go. Where's and your that- Coke region, Medellin? <laughs> <laughs> Goes straight to Columbia. <laughs> Hurry up. Uh, we got to get back to the dance floor. They're playing MC Hammer. <laughs> we got to stay between the lines here. All right. Uh, we have the 6 seed. Oh, no, no. Six of all in. <laughs> all right. Just pull at it, you think? Oh, oh yeah. I'm going in, Houston. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Faster. That's the copper, <laughs> the copper <laughs> chef. chef. And for- by the way, the now banned copper chef. Oh. Another drop oh. that's been taken by management. Oh, that's oh. a six seed. I didn't well, even realize that. Well, you know yeah. what? There's ways to keep it alive, at least for the next <laughs> hour and a half. Wonder. <laughs> uh, go up against the eleven seed. Another staffer, could he win two playoff yeah. games? Wow. I don't think mm. so. I don't, I, you know, I've always loved the Stafford on song, but uh, uh, that one's definitely not my favorite. Uh, so I'm going to have to go with the pre- with the former. Got to go with the copper, copper chef. chef. Goes, and, 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 you know what? And, Look at him in the background. Roberto is almost yeah. tearful. And is all so is all games so the far in the beat. in my Coke region a razor thin victory. Oh sure. That Let's was... get that farther going so that we can play the whole thing later. Oh good oh, point. All right. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. That was Stafford losing twenty six to six to the Seahawks. Right Let's there. go to Lynn. Who's up next? Ninety seven one. Hi Lynn. Hi, how are you? How is everyone? Hello, Hello. Good. Lynn. How are you? Our first female uh, entree. Yeah, yeah. welcome. <laughs> Hopefully I can do good. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm going to give you a great matchup, Lynn, and you're going to be forced to pick one of these, which I think will be amusing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> uh, would you mind going to the boat guy region, I Lynn? I knew you oh, were sure. Doing I, like, I'm, I'm boat I like guy. boat guy. Yeah, boat guy. He'll love boat guy. It's the eight. Nine oh, matchup. Come on. <laughs> Lynn is too nice for this. It's Stony oh. on Stony Crime. All right, Lynn, here we go. The number eight seed. Mexicans. Yeah. Stony yelling Mexicans for no reason. Going up against the number nine seed. Breasts. Stony saying breasts for no reason. Who you got there, Lynn? I'm going to have to go with Mexicans. <laughs> Oh. Down goes breasts. Lynn. Down goes breasts. 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 You don't breasts. like breasts, Lynn? <laughs> yes. I like them both. <laughs> do, you like, both do, you like, do you like Mexican breasts? Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Lynn, you're a good sport. I just wanted to hear you say breasts. That's all. Okay, breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, okay, I, but Lynn, Mexicans advance. That's who she is. Lynn, picked. I am so sorry that you had to endure that. No, Lynn, that was great. That's, that's okay. I, I laugh at you guys all the time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Mexicans. You're welcome. Bye. Do you find that odd that our breasts. first female breasts. caller eliminated breasts? 
I was, just hoping she'd, I was just hoping she'd say I like breasts. Well, I'm glad we could provide that cheap thrill for you. Let's go over to Nick up next, 97.1. Nick, you're on the Stoney and Wojo invitation. How's it going, fellas? Excellent. It's How about going you, good. All right, let's do the uh, Mike's Money region. For a 5-12 matchup, and I think uh, sometimes you never know what's going to happen with five mm. seeds. It's the fifth seed. Andre should be on the all-star team, you know, so he has double-doubles, you know, the whole the whole thing. He has double-doubles, double-double-double, you know, the whole the whole thing. Double-double-double. That's Tom Gore singing about Andre Drummond, I think. Yes, it is. <laughs> Against the 12th seed. Where a legendary columnist was thirsty for more than scoops. <laughs> Hatcher, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> Get out. Sorry, man. Get out! Yo! <laughs> he wouldn't stop drinking well, my Bud Light. What was I supposed to do? Writer's block. You've never been in my basement, have you? So it's the horror of Tom Gores' love for Andre Drummond versus the horror of Wojo's basement. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Wojo's basement. What? You picked Wojo's basement? Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Down goes Gores. Wow. And you know what, Nick? You don't have to go in Wojo's basement now, as you would if you That's did. Middle Tennessee State over I MSU. I think this is a major upset here. Uh, I... Thinking about the V, you know what? I'm not going to use it because I you see can. possibility where I have right, to use and it it's later. It's a 12 Oh, just t- stop trying to save your basement. Well, that's no. a big one. You murdering David because David drank all your Bud Light? Like that's yeah. that's scary. But I'm keeping it. Tom Gorris, but boop, but boop, but boop. But I I shouldn't be happy that creepy Wojo advanced, but I just that's honor the uh, the vote. Yeah, that's an upset, Sully. Mm-hmm. I don't hear you cr- yelling or crooning about oh, this. It's, it's it's definitely an upset. I, th- I didn't think there's any way Gores would lose it. Also, because as funny as the Wojo Basement song is, we really don't play it a ton. The Gores audio, we've played a ton. Because I've it. threatened to hatch it every time it gets played. Let's get one more mm-hmm. matchup in. Timely, Jeremy Canton up next on the Stoney and Wojo Invitational. How you doing, fellas? Hello, up, Jeremy. Can I take you to Sully's poll? Region. Oh, wait, Sully's poll. Yeah. I'd love to get that poll. All for right, sure. Sully. This is a fascinating one, perhaps. Uh, the two fifteen matchup in Sully's poll region. Uh, you have Jamie Samuelson, the number two seed. What's the big deal with blackface? <laughs> he was just asking, what's the big deal with blackface? Uh. Going up against Paul from Shelby Township, the 15 seed. I mean, I'll be as brief as I can because your show is incredibly popular today. He was being condescending, I believe. 215, who do you got there? Oh, easily two. What's yeah. the big deal with blackface? Yeah, that's Watch that's it. Kentucky versus South Carolina yeah. State. Kentucky by third. Watch hey, it. Mike, real quick. Yeah, Bob. yeah. I know you got to keep it timely here. Um, did your horse racing song win or uh, go to a championship last year? No. Where did it end up? No, it went far. Because I voted far, for it, and it was far. No, far we, we, I think it, we got to, like, the Elite Eight, yes. and then we got nixed. And yep. that was uh, fine. I just wanted to hear it at least twice last year. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Hey, right, fellas, have a good one. Thanks, Thanks, Jeremy. You know, Paul from show, he was just happy to be in the field, okay? Hey, he didn't hey, expect to win. Berta, I tell you, uh, tomorrow, Saratoga opening day, you better get you better get something cranking. Can't be that Post Malone crap you spit out there last summer. Oh. You better have something good for Saratoga season. That's all I'm saying. Let, let the kid rest. Look at him. He's already stressed out. <laughs> Poor man, look at him. I know. By the way, how about Roberto clean shaven for the Stoney and Mojo invitation? Oh, yeah. He was ready. Look mm-hmm. at him. He looks like a I giant think he showered, egg. too. He looked beautiful. <laughs> look at you. You're such a handsome man. You are. Look at you. He's he's blushing now. First time I've shaved in like a year. <laughs> you look a little less destitute today. It's oh, great. Come on. I'm wearing right. a collar and more, more, Yeah, it's 90 degrees out. You're wearing a button up. More matchups. Ryan Woolley with a Stoney and Wojo Invitational yep. recap update desk next as well. 97-1. But right now, though, Joe Randazzo's Fruit and Vegetable Here's Market. Here's Mike Sullivan. Yes, that's right. Tons of great products, quality products, lowest prices around. Joe Randazzo's, they buy direct, and they have tons of great specials going on, including seedless grapes, 69 cents a pound. Just can't beat it. And don't forget about their wholesale delivery unit. Now, maybe you're a local or restaurant or banquet hall. They serve over 250 Metro Detroit restaurants and banquet halls, 
and you can get great wholesale pricing combined with free deliveries. Just text Jeremy, 313-999-0029. He'll text you back with all the information on wholesale. Makes it super easy for you. That's 313-999-0029 if you're interested in taking a look at the wholesale prices at Joe Randazzo's. Joe Randazzo's Fruit and Vegetable Market, Detroit, Dearborn Heights, Westland, and Roseville. Quality products at the absolute lowest prices around. They've been family-owned and operated since 1953. Joe Randazzo, stop by today. You've got a question? We've got an opinion. Three thirty in a Motor City. It is the Stoney and Wojo Invitational. It's the once a year event honoring one of the great bits from the Godfathers of sports radio, Stoney and Wojo. The Godfather. We're so happy to participate. Oh, it is. It's a blast. We have you great just fun. Like, you like the free pizza buffet that that, that showed up. We do, oh, and, we, and, and we thank you for that. Oh, I, yeah. it's it's the least they can do. This. Come on, you guys come in to do this, and it's it's fun. And the callers love it. Uh, we haven't even given out the phone number, and the phone lines are full. But keep. Working your way in. 248 You'll get a um, shot. Let's go right into matchups. We'll catch up on ticket text momentarily. Uh, Joe Wyandot next. Joe, how you doing, Bob? Not bad. How you guys doing? Good, pal. We're doing wonderful. You ready? Good. All I right. got to tell you something. Oh, yeah. what? I have not been so nervous since I had to vote on abandon ship against there's nothing gay about me. <laughs> oh, I mean, no. Wow. <laughs> Who did you take am, in that one, Joe? I am shaking. You should be shaking. Uh, Bobby Ross against Pat Caputo. One yeah. of the great oh, there you go. matchups. What is that? There womp, you go, womp, Stoney. Womp, yeah. womp, abandoned ship. And then Pat Caputo. There's nothing gay about me. I don't, right. I don't coach that stuff. <laughs> Joe shaking like a little leaf. You know what's right. funny? We ourselves on this show, Joe, we have tried to find that audio of Bobby Ross. It doesn't exist. You're kidding. Anywhere. Oh my no. God! That's crazy. There, there used to be somebody had, and I, it's, somebody it's, has no, to it's have gone, it. it. There used to be a old our old station drop board that was out, and I tried to find it. Re- it's gone, and it's man. Gone like we had, can't find mm, it because Joe, <laughs> that is one of the great pieces of audio yeah, ever. I think I coach that stuff? I don't coach that <laughs> stuff. I'd hate to be your wife. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said to me. <laughs> All right, let's, let's get Joe, back on track Joseph, over here. Uh, I'm going to take you to the Stoney's Coke region. All right. Oh. Oh, I know. like Coke. Oh, okay, Joseph. Okay. And now, don't gag on this one. Don't be nervous. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's the two fifteen matchup. Oh, this is big. Ooh, this boy. is big. The number two seed. I'm both guys. Sail out in the middle of Lake St. Clair and watch the beautiful, beautiful sunset into the west. I sail. I'm a sailor. I sail. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Boat Guy song going up against okay. the number 15 seed. From the first time that, that that we ever spent the night in the same bed, yeah, I really think we have slept on the exact same side. Yes. No matter where, any bed, any place, any time. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You know, we've been doing the same side thing for so long. That's uh, when Stoney slept in the same bed as Jamie, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't pillows. Um, <laughs> no. Planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> While I love number fifteen, I gotta go with the number two. The number two is 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 the bomb. Yeah, Absolutely, the Lake Saint Clair. Yeah, it is. Yes. Both guys are forced to be reckoned with. He is alive with a drop. Yeah, he's alive with a song. Joseph, great pick, great pick. Because thank, thank you. I couldn't. Stomach the image of Stoney and Jamie in bed together. <laughs> I don't coach that stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go over to Ken, 97.1. Kenny, how you doing, bud? Gentlemen, what's happening? Hello, Kenneth. All right, Kenneth, here we go. Mike's right. money region. The 314 matchup. Ooh. And I usually don't like selecting something that I have something to do with, but what the hell, it's the third seed. He apparently also has a bunch of Coke. Like in my world, at least, Coke was the real deal. Coke was the natural, the number one go-to. You like the white stuff, Sony? White powder up my nose. The hell that morning show does. Going up against the 14th seed and upset-minded 
This whole tournament's very family friendly and, and built for the casual golf fan. Absolute dream. Dustin Johnson. Yes, I'd love nothing more. My dream, my dream is to have Ricky Fowler. I want desperately want Bubba Watson. Yes, yes, yes. And the reigning <laughs> U.S. Open champ, Gary Woodland. I want him here as soon as he possibly can get here. With wow. Sully talking about the Rocket Mortgage Classic. <laughs> mm. What do you got? Uh, that's pretty good, but we'll get Heather back in with a little cameo and uh, Coke song. It's got to happen. Great Agree. philosophy, too. Love gotta that. Happen. Maybe she'll stop. I farted. I was gonna say, maybe she'll stop crop dusting us. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go to Adam, 97.1. You're up next in the Stony Mojo Invitational. Hey, good afternoon, fellas. What's going on? Hello, Adam. Can I take you to the Stony's Coke region? Let's see it. This is the last first-round game in the Stony's Coke region, and it's the 116 matchup. Let's see what happens. You got the number one seed. Lend by his tie, so he cry no more lines of cocaine. You are a recreational drug user. Yes, I can't touch my toe. <laughs> <laughs> Going up against the 16 seed. Marco That's Evan impersonating Mason yelling for Mike Valenti. What do you say there, mister? Yeah, I'd say number one all day, especially with Stoney at the end of it. Fine. Yeah. Can't deal with Coke with all the Coke. Number one. Mm. Yeah, it's it's. there's really no doubt. It's the real thing. It's Coke. That, you know what? Stoney's Coke was favored by 34 and a half in that game and still, still covered. covered. Yep. Let's go to Chris up next. Chris, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Hello, Christopher. All right, Christopher. Let's finish out round one of the Boat Guy region. Let's do it. We go to the second seed. He was he, awful he in the last it. three he games it. He against the, the Giants. Yes, that was uh, me with Rieger and Dan Orlovsky. Going up against the 15th seed. Finito. 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 So you got Stony Poop in the bed or Finito. I mean, number 15 is really good, but... I'm going to have to go with number two. He was he, awful he in the last it. three games it. He the against bed. the Giants. It was number two. You're right. Watch out for number two. Mm-hmm. You never know. Simply I'm amazing. amazing. <laughs> I, I'd still, that was you, your excitement to yes. just break in that conversation was uh, remarkable. Wait, remarkable. let me clear something real quick. Immediate reaction. People are asking, wait, Bokai just got eliminated? That's turning as a sham. He no. didn't get eliminated. No, no. People pay attention, okay? I'm Boat Guy. Thank you. He's still here. Boat right. Guy song one. What do we have? One matchup left in the first round? Two. 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 Yeah. You think, you think I can get them both in? Yes. yes. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Let's go to Dan971. Danny, how are you, bud? Good, gentlemen. How are you doing? Danny, Excellent. I'm doing tremendous. I'm going to take you to Mike's Money Region to finish out the first round. It is awesome. Yep, here we go. The 215 matchup, the number two seed. I sat on the kitchen table with my pappy. I remember watching Ty Cobb. <laughs> you know who had loyalty? Al Kaline. Bobby Lane would have never left the team. <laughs> Sully and Valenti doing back in the day in the mood. In the mood. Uh, we going up against the number fifteen seed. Um, kind of moved back a couple of spots. Thought that was good, good business to um, acquire that other pick. Um, 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 our competitiveness. Um, 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 that's kind of what you want to build. So um, 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 that was a really good weekend for us. Um, um, I think we're getting there. Um, Bob Quinn, Lions general manager. Um, um, umming. What do you say there, Mister? Yeah, it's not as good as Stafford's um song. So I'm going to, and number two reminds me of any time that Hatchet, Mike, and Sully all talk about Wolverines and how they didn't have black people playing back in the 30s. So I'm going back to the two seed. This school was a, was a black power guy, by the way. before we, this school was a power before Great. integration. <laughs> <laughs> Ty Cobb. Uh, that's a tremendous pick, Dan, and that was a complete blowout. All right, we mm-hmm. have one game left I, in the first round. I will tell you, one of my like secret pleasures mm. is when he does his old man voice. Oh, I love the old man voice. It's, it's Sully's good. old man voice, uh-huh. and, and I'm not being patronizing or insulting, even though it's probably coming off as both. That might be your greatest talent. 
<laughs> no, it really might. Your, your old man voice. Well, I appreciate that. Wait, <laughs> listen to the way he says Ty Cobb in that the next I time like it comes in. It's amazing. All right, let's get the Bobby last Lane. pick of the first round. We go to Benny. Benny, you get the last pick. Benny, you there? What up, guys? Hello, How you Benjamin. doing? Benjamin. Good. We're wonderful. The last pick, I feel that's a lot of pressure. I last pick sure of the first the right round. Here, huh? oh, yeah. Don't worry. It's, it's, it's in Sully's poll region. There's no pressure. The number one seed, it is Sully. I'd love to get that poll, for sure. Going up against the 16th seed, Wojo. Nudies. Oh, man. Wow. We're going to lose a dear friend here. How is that a 116 match? I know. Benny, where are you with this? Well, I don't know if you guys are going to like this, but I am going the 16 yes. over the one here. I, it's, a, it's a clear choice for me. Whoa, yeah. Benjamin! You know the, what? B- B- Baltimore County did it. The Retrievers! The Retrievers! The, I, I think this is the one we thought could happen. Yes. Because there's so much uh, Sully Pole talk that it might be a Sully Pole overload. But did, look, you reading about lingerie was a fabulous time in our lives. Mm-hmm. And it's a bit of a turn on it. And, and there's so much pole talk from Sully. I mean, it's just a bit much. Plus, I mean, I, you, you know, know what? He loves the pole. Benny, i got to be honest. With you. <laughs> Benny, i got to be honest with you. Plus, the nudies has been on my drop board for like seven months. The minute Wojo was doing those Valentine's Day reads, Roberto went and put this right on the board. I think it's a legitimate underseated 16. I ain't hating on it. 16 over Nudies. Nudies. So a huge upset. Let's gather our, our thoughts. Oh, Ticket text. We've got to catch up. The first round is complete. Uh, one seed is Nudies. gone. Nudies. We, Nudies. we Nudies. roll on. Oh, Next, 97-1. Suburban Cadillac of Troy. Is your car or truck driving you insane? Worse than the weather? Well, move up to a Cadillac. Suburban Cadillac. Troy Motor Mall. Elevate your driving experience. The all-new Cadillac XT4 Premium Luxury Front-Wheel Drive. Heated seats, steering wheel, sporty 2-liter turbo engine, and more. And right now, you're getting it for $299 a month. The XT4, $299 a month, 36 months. Go out and see them. Suburban Cadillac of Troy, a first-class sales staff, top to bottom. Their business is repeat business because they treat everyone right Go see them, two ninety nine a month on that XT four. See them at the facility in Troy or online anytime. Suburban Cadillac of Troy dot com. That's Suburban Cadillac of Troy dot com. All right, ticket text coming in. Boat guy song puts me in a place of complete serenity. Oh. If the Boat Guy song doesn't win this tourney, there should be an investigation. Hmm? Bada beep, bada boop, bada beep, forever. Come on, Tommy Gores. Yeah, I know. Mm. I'm really, shocked. You mentioned Boat Guy. There's a, there's a good chance. Of a Boat Guy, Boat Guy final? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Mm. Here's a dirty secret. Females are cereal crop dusters because they usually toot quietly. That was told to me by a beautiful female coworker. I farted. Here she is again. Both I, Heather I, and Dan Dickerson are so pissed off that they got eliminated. They keep jumping in. Well, Joe, I think six uh, more inches. There he is again. I think Valenti has a thing for uh, Heather's farts. <laughs> no, I have a thing that that you didn't share that drop with me, and I'm that is phenomenal. Like it's amazing. We've been the only Heather drop we ever had was this is awesome, and that's cool. Yeah, but like between that and then the other one you hid for me, summer penis. It doesn't get any better. Yeah, yeah. What about she had another one, agent penis too. Uh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. By the way, do you guys agree with this? One quick ticket text. Wojo blew the best matchup of the first round by giving boobies versus Mexicans to the ladies. What the heck? Boobies breast. It was all unfair day. seating. It's like Ohio State playing a home game. In but Columbus. I thought she would take breast because of that. Oh, well, well, you were wrong. I know. Obviously. Um, so it- we we look up the regions, like the the boat guy region. Has it's crazy. It's got what three double digit seeds. Then uh, Sully's mm. pole region also with only two double digit seeds, but one is a sixteen. On the other side of the bracket, my Coke region, a lot of chalk, no, no double digit seeds, no. and the only double digit. There's two double digit digit seeds in the money region, 
and that would be a 10 seed and a 12 seed. Yeah. What is the matchup you're most looking forward to here? Oh, my God. In the in the Elite 32? Um, I think Harsh on Drugs versus Hatchet's going to be good. That is a good one. Yeah. And Doug, he, Doug he, loves his drugs. He's mm-hmm. been an 11-14 of two upsets. Uh, Kawhi Leonard's laugh against sack time will be very interesting. That it, well, that's I'm one. still bitter about those people being out, though. Mm, me too. But... Mm, 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 mm. Are you ready? And yeah. we all have uh, one veto left, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you two do. We yeah. too. You I yours. saved Greg because Sully's head was going to explode. <laughs> yes, I know. All right, we go to Brian in <laughs> Ann Arbor to lead off the second round of the Stony and Mojo Invitational. Hi, Brian. Hey, how you guys doing? Thanks for having me. Thanks for calling. Brian, do you feel honored to kick off the Elite 32? Oh, I feel so honored. I'm just upset because I need six more inches back. Um, we all do. Hello. Six more inches. <laughs> six more inches. All right, Brian. I'm going to take you to the Stoney's Coke region in a powerhouse yeah. matchup. It is a 6-3 matchup. We have the number six seed. Get it all in. <laughs> all right. Just pull at it, you think? Oh, oh yeah. I'm going in, Houston. Mm. 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 Faster. That is the Copper Chef song from 2019. Going up against the number three seed. You want to know why I dream about Zion Williamson? Absolute dream. I love nothing more. My dream, my dream is to have Zion Williamson. Zion, Zion, Zion. I want Zion Williamson. I want Zion here. That's Sully craving a large man. What do you say there, mister? Well, so I just love the fact that I'm on the Valimi show. I've always wanted to call in. Um, I don't want to piss Roberto off, but I have to go with Sully. Wow. Yeah. He went with the stronger seed. And it was the stronger upset. seed. Yeah. Oh, Roberto. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at him. Roberto is storming out of the studio. Come on. You guys, one of you guys got to veto you that. Can't, Come no, on. You don't no. veto when a higher yeah. seed loses. Yep. You know what I mean? Wow. I wanted someone to veto six more inches, so I was texting in, veto six more inches. <laughs> oh, Brian. Well, listen, yeah. I, I am not going to stand in the way of your dreams. I, nope. I'll just tell you right now. You know what I'd like to do right now? Down goes Copper Chef. This, this will be right now the final time you will ever hear this because it has been banned by management. Michael, do we have the, the collection series? I would like to say goodbye to Eric Thies and Denise Rebko. Oh, is this it? And then we'll have a moment of silence. Yeah, afterwards. this is it for Copper Chef. Oh. What started out... As an infomercial, before I was trying to watch horse racing at Belmont on Mm. TVG, turned into a series that delighted, well, maybe only Roberto and his inner passions, the Copper Chef pan, and everyone associated with it. We want to say thank you and goodbye to you. Mm. Michael, for the last time. The following is a paid presentation for the Copper Mm. Chef Grill. Here's Eric Thies and Denise Remco. Denise, get over here. Remember this? I hope you like hot sauce. Uh, I sure do. Oh, yeah. This is why I call it my soda can. Amazing. You think you can handle that? I'm hoping. I'm going to try. I don't think you can handle it. Oh, my gosh. I don't think you can handle it. Oh. (laughs) What? Is it thick enough? Uh, well, I (laughs) think so. Oh, man. Ready? Uh, Get it all in. (laughs) All right. Just pull at it, you think? Oh, Uh, yeah. I'm going in, Houston. Mm. (laughs) Mmm. Faster. <laughs> and you know what? You can be sloppy with this. All right. Oh, Is that gorgeous? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, we timed this just right. Oh, Look at this. Oh, boy. All right. Get your goggles on. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do it here. You want to know why? <laughs> because it's delicious. <laughs> oh. oh. That's my honey. favorite part. <laughs> Farewell, my old friend. I feel like I just laughed at a funeral. I shouldn't do that. Your grandma used to get it. <laughs> 97 one. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Absolutely impossible. Here's Mike that. Sullivan, the pole guy. Just Please incredible. check out my basket. That's right. Well, speaking of baskets and uh, watching Copper Chef and all that, you know what you can do? You can watch Copper Chef using Xfinity. Just use your excellent voice remote and say Copper Chef. No, I'm just messing. What you can do, though, is get great reliable service with Xfinity, even when the whole family's online at once. Different devices, doesn't matter. You know that the internet's going to be fast and reliable, especially with Xfinity XFi and XFi Advantage. With XFi Advantage, you get enhanced security, 
safer browsing, and more for all the devices in your home. It's a fantastic feature that Xfinity has, and you can switch today. Just switch to Xfinity, see how Xfinity XFi makes Wi-Fi simple, easy, and awesome. So call 1-800-XFINITY, Xfinity.com, or drop by your local Xfinity store for all the details. You can learn more. Some restrictions do apply, but one more time, that's Xfinity.com, 1-800-XFINITY, or just stop by your local Xfinity store to learn more about all their fantastic products, including Xfinity XFi. It's the stony white powder up my nose. And Wojo. Hey! Invitational Bracket Challenge. So let the games begin. On 97 1, the ticket. Filling out that bracket. I'm Boat Guy. What matchup intrigues you the most? Bangkok 96. Definitely a number one seed. Well, we just have said goodbye to one of the all time uh, bits on this program. Farewell, mm. Copper Chef, and the people are upset, boys. Oh, they really are. Ban that man from ever calling again. How Copper Chef didn't win is a travesty. Someone, for the love of God, veto. Keep Copper Chef. Six more inches guy is trash. Copper Chef edits were the best thing to ever happen on this show. Mm. I'm not sure if that's a compliment, but we'll take it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Good point. Damn you, Brian, in Ann Arbor. <laughs> And here's an interesting point, if this is true. Copper Chef was saved by Vito last year. You can't do it back-to-back, Brendan in Belleville. It's a great point. Hey, but you cannot veto when the higher seed wins. And I'm not right. looking to. Right. That's yeah. why we just had our farewell montage. We have rules that we break all the time. I mean, that we make all the time. <laughs> Ain't Certainly. that the truth. By the way, conspiracy theory, the Pistons are again holding Seku Dumbuya out of the summer league game, are they holding him out because he's in the trade? No. Oh, okay. It's probably because he's nowhere near ready to play. Yeah. No, he has a hamstring he's a little, issue. He's a little hammy. He's got a hammy. But I like conspiracy theories. Let me ask you a question. The yeah. Heat apparently are moving in on Russ. How, how much you really think he's going to play this year? Not much Not at much. all. Thank no. you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which Thank is, why, which you. is no. why I like the pick. No, yeah. and guess what? Yes. So do I. Yeah. And I you like, know what I don't like? I don't like when, when ding dingalings call me and tell me the kid's going to average double doubles and huh. stuff as a rookie. Oh, and, I go, and I like the Lithuanian kid, saying. too. Let him stay in a Sarvidis, yeah. yes. stash him and go. Yeah. Look at this. Look at Stoney making sense. He's gotten into this guy. <laughs> yeah, what has Connor, 971. <laughs> Connor, what's up? How's it going, guys? Pleasure to be here. Well, it's our pleasure, and it's our pleasure to take you to the Boat Guy region for round two action, a double-digit seed matchup, 11 versus 14. Here we go. The 11 seed who upset those people. Here is Kawhi Leonard. (laughs) Going up against the 14th seed. He's got a better laugh than Kawhi Leonard, Jim Brandstatter. It's sack time! Wow. Kawhi versus Brandy. Oof. What do you say? They both know Steve Fisher very wow. well. Mm. Well, see, I I had sack time going going quite the distance here, but uh I don't I don't know if you can go against the Kawhi laugh. I really don't. <laughs> sack time is sacked. Down goes sack time. What it do, baby? Yeah. Oh. All right, fun guy. Fun guys through to the next hey, round. Yeah. You know, I feel like Kawhi is taking those people's spots in these as he advances. The laugh is indomitable. I guess. Well, here's the other thing, and it's it's the strength of of the drop when a drop fuels later songs. Yes. Do I need to reference the Kawhi Leonard uh, edit that enough. was done for Round Ball Rock? That's fair enough. That's true. I mean, Sully, you want to give the people a sample of that just just so they understand the greatness of this? I believe they are. Didn't he already lose? That was a different one. That was the Kawhi Bon oh, Jovi. Yeah, one. good point. Yeah. The round ball rock. Was- mm-hmm. Oh, we don't have the round ball rock okay. Kawhi edit. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Yeah. The People- si- this system is Sully struggling right now. Yeah. Well, you have Jin back there. You didn't bring it into. It's all right. We'll our go. Studio. We'll go to Mike in Brighton. All right, Michael. How are you? How are you, gentlemen? How's everything? We're great. Michael, you get to send yet another team to the Sweet Sixteen. Are you ready? I am ready. It is a pleasure. I am just curious, though, as well, when the uh, merchandise will be made available. Um, immediately after the tournament. Yeah, okay. immediately. Um, all right, here we go. Let's go to Sully's poll. Hop aboard that region. Let's stroke it. <laughs> Dear Jesus. And it's the 12-4 matchup. Let's start with the 12 seed. 
the drug issue isn't really an issue because I do drugs, so I'm good with that. Man, yeah, Doug Carr should <laughs> and make an admission. And the only Karsh and Anderson submission. Yeah, there you go. Transparency there. That's the 12 seed going up against the number four seed. We might lose the Browns. This is such a power Hatchet, man, uh, complaining about his Steelers. What do you say? I got to be honest with you guys. Uh, Doug Karsh lives, in my opinion. I think that him and his organic drugs or whatever he does uh, uh, has to move on. Wow. Mike, what did I pay you? Come on, yeah. man. The drug issue isn't really an issue because I do drugs, so I'm good with that. Hatchet, you need to update. You might lose to the Browns. I might lose to Doug. That's what you need to say right now because you just did. Wow. Plus, there is something fun about Doug saying he loves drugs. Yes. And the fact he's beaten Hatchet in two straight matchups. I dig it. <laughs> Oh, he had. Hold on, hold on. There should be a, there's a controversy here. What? Okay. Because, Mike, you went on and right after the Doug drop said that that's the only submission from that show. You did influence I think a you little, little bit. in the selection. A mm, little bit. Well, little you know, bit. it's like having a referee from the same hometown. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Unless Wojo wants to use a veto or I want to use a veto. Spoken like a true Michigan fan. Yeah. Those refs are from Columbus. Weren't they all like in the Ohio State uh, Alumni Club? <laughs> I'm so, I'm, I'm not David, using my veto. David, there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I just was giving an info nugget. My okay. bad. Hatchet, what is worse, losing to the Browns or losing to Kirsch? I mean, if you had to pick one, <laughs> losing to the Browns. Suck a dick. Oh, jeez. So Karsh makes a sweet 16. Karsh and his drugs. Let's go to Brandon. Wow. 971. What's mm. up, Brandon? Mm-mm. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good, bud. All right, Brandon, let's go to uh, Mike's Money Region. Let's do the one seed right out of the boat. Uh, the top seed, Mike likes his money. And you know what? David, uh, 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 I, I want like money. money. This is my job. I, I like want money. money. And going up against the Hatchet Man. I just go Call up and you can get on. If you want to talk whatever. Don't complain to me that we're not talking about it. And I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And then you don't want to get on the radio and talk about it. <laughs> this is a dangerous game for the one seed. I'm not poisoning. I'm just throwing it out I there. I agree. This is Duke Notre Dame mm-hmm. all those years ago. What do you say there, Brandon? Yeah, I, I, I think uh, we're going to bury the hatchet. <gasps> oh, oh, no. no. You know what? David. David is just taking L's. And I took very good pride in last year uh, in the second round, sending let the bitch walk on through two. Uh, It's good to see that. (laughs) It's good to see your back, Brandon. Absolutely. David is just apoplectic right now. I think I'm going to take a walk. I'm going to take a walk. You do. Take a walk. Do you have anything left? Well, it's funny. You You should be be used to taking L's like this, considering the shirt you're wearing. Oh, stop. Oh. He's wearing a um, Michigan shirt. Yeah, I'm not winning any big games right now. Oh, That's right. Oh, my. Yeah. Welcome to your bowl game. Oh, my. Uh, let's go to Derek for up Hatchet. next. Now, is there any other way we can beat on Hatchet a little bit here? Is he, is he left in this? I'm yeah, trying to find got, one. He's got one left. Poor okay. guy. Derek, how you doing, bud? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. Uh, excellent, Derek. Derek, do you mind if I take you? Uh, let's stick in the uh, Mike's Money region, if you don't mind. All right. Let's go. All right. This is this is an interesting one. It's the 10-2 matchup. Mm. The number 10 seed. On this show, we don't see race. <laughs> <laughs> we That's never right. see race. We don't try to promulgate a race issue. But we will today. But we are going to create a race <laughs> war today. Who is your all-time favorite black players? We don't like those people. Just annoying. Here's a good one. I don't know. I don't I hate it. I didn't like this guy either, but it was one player. And it was Zion Williams. And the, the other guy I was thinking about, Blake Griffin. Bobby Hurley played hard. He was a champion. He was an all-white American. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You bastards. What the hell were you guys talking about? I think it was when we decided it's something to do with Duke players. Those people? Why we hate those Duke people? white players. All right, well. And, um, they, and, and these jack holes from this show flipped it around. No, they didn't. <laughs> um, now, uh, Derek, that is going up against... The number two seed. I sat on the kitchen table with my pappy. I remember watching Ty Cobb. 
<laughs> you know who had loyalty? Al Kaline. Bobby Lane would have never left the team. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. This is tough. Yeah, that's that's a toughie dare. Oh Derek. man. Uh, with the music, I and it, I just love the old voice. It's gotta be a number two. Scene. Yes! Wow, Sully's old man voice moves on. Excellent choice, Derek. Sully! Sully, delight Derek with some of your talents. Who remembers watching Bobby Lane play back in the day? <laughs> Tiger Woods was no Arnold Palmer, was he, Sully? I just wish Bo Schembechler would have won a national title. <laughs> he sounds like the grandfather on Simpson the Simpsons, doesn't he? <laughs> if Michigan State didn't cheat by integrating, <laughs> these players have no loyalty. Well, there you go, Derek. We have done all we can do. It was Alonzo State was a coach. There are way too many three-pointers nowadays. <laughs> Whatever happened to post-play? All right, that's enough. We have a ton of second-round mm. matchups to get to. Mm. In the Mood has moved on. The Money Song has moved on. Zion has upended Copper Chef. The Kawhi Laugh lives. Wow. And Doug continues to just pound drugs as he's... <laughs> <laughs> He's mainlining. He's pounding <laughs> drugs in a bike helmet. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm sure Harry Glanz will appreciate that segue into capital mortgage funding. We know the industry has changed for years. You've heard about Harry Glanz and Dan Burke, the entire staff at Capital Mortgage if your Funding. your last name was Glanz, would you ever name your kid Harry Jules Glanz? I love the fact his middle name is Jules. I know. It's incredible. It's remarkable. Um, yeah, so there's no real great segue from that either. So, look, they're a great company. They do what's right for you. You got rates, uh, 12 month low. Call 1 800 low rate. That's 1 800 low rate. And just literally ask for Harry Jules Glance. <laughs> you can't make it up. Do you know his favorite line was Harry Colon? Oh, my God. Okay. Thank you for that. All time low rates. <laughs> Homes are moving. Capital Mortgage Funding, 1-800-LOW-RATE. That's Capital Mortgage Funding, the best mortgage banker. Can we give some quick ticket text love to uh, Sully uh, here on the Sony Wojo Invitational on the Valenti Show? OMG almost drove off the road laughing so hard at Sully's old man voice. Um, that's money. Sully has a future as an old man. I mean, I, we're discovering, Mike, don't take this the wrong way, okay? But apparently, the things that people like best about the Mike Valeni show are the Copper Chef bits right. and Sully's old man voice. Right. Oh, yeah, I, I learned long ago, yeah, none of the it. actual, like, real stuff you do matters. It's <laughs> all the stupid stuff. Right. Yeah. Nobody ever romanticizes, you know, really good take on the Blake Griffin trade the day it went down. No, no, it's... Man, remember when Sully was racially insensitive as an old man? Yeah, yeah, I do. Hey, remember when you took a frying pan commercial and made it dirty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. He does sound like Grandpa Simpson. It's 100%. Yeah. Remember when I yelled about losing to the Browns? Yeah. Right. Well, Dave, David is not happy that that is. He happened. is so bitter. Let's go to Harris, who's up next in the Stony and Mojo Invitational. Hi, Harris. Harris? Uh oh. Harry? Harris, Harrison? wake up, Harris. He's gone. We ain't got time yeah, for that. Let's exactly. go to Dave, 97.1. Hi, Dave. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's good. <clears throat> All right. Hey, you know what? What? You know, on behalf of the entire 97.1 point listeners in the entire area, you guys nailed preparation and execution. And this is legendary, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> that, that, Thank that's you. Sully, I mean, really Roberto, is. and Hatch. That is. They just, yep. we're, we're just here for the ride. They, yep. they bust you know, their ass putting this together, Dave. They do. It's pretty cool, you know. Right? It's, it's nice to see how you guys work together. And, uh, and, and just me thinking out loud, because I always think towards the future, um, Wojo is leading in the future drops of today. Oh, what and, have I added uh, today? I yeah, he, he said, uh, we haven't checked the files. We don't know. Well, I so, also said, well, I'm going to lose to Doug in Hatchet's voice, oh right? <laughs> Come on, if you're no, talking I, about... I see, as Michigan's, I see as Michigan's playing this fall. We haven't checked the files. We don't know. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Actually, the leader of the new drops for next year is Heather. Oh. <laughs> I farted. Yeah. Okay, I mean, Heather. Can you do David's voice and again? And also, David, uh, David, I just want to let you know I'm a Steelers fan, and I could have saved you. 
Oh, see? Missed it. Oh, Good thing we didn't know that. One more caller later. Oh, I'm my God. Let's get to the pick. Give yeah. him a matchup. Give him a game, Stoney. Uh, the boat guy region, the 4-5 matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy. Wow. It is the four seed. They listen to you, my. Go up against the fifth seed and quick. Okay. Okay. Caller on caller crime. Two callers being uh, oh. mocking. Which one do you like? Wow. I'm going to go with number five. Okay. That, you know what? That pick is... Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, just okay. going to go with okay. 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 All right. You know, I wanted to do more. But, uh, oh, by the way, I'm camper guy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, See, at well. least camper guy showed up. At least camper boat guy, guy showed boat up. Boat guy hasn't shown up yet. I'm boat guy. Well, camper guy, if you're out there, beautiful sunset. look for boat guy. I mean, they now, Mike. Do you feel bad? No, uh, Mike. Being no, okay, I. I right. listen. They listened to you. Mike was actually nice. The okay guy was a prickly. Yeah, there's a huge difference. Literally, the background on that drop. The dude called up and is like, "I'm a better Spartan than you." Okay, you know, I I okay. knew Duffy Darty. Okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I donate, okay? Okay. He's, it literally was okay, and then by the end of the call, he was still on the line, and they had already pulled the drop, and were screwing with him by putting the okays in before he could say okay. Yeah. And don't forget, if you can't get enough of this, tonight at 9 p.m., we're going to have the NIT bracket. is going to unfold tonight. Everybody wow. that didn't make it. Wow. Go to, go to Rob, 971. What's up, Rob? How you doing? We're good. Robert, we're tremendous. Can I give you a region, mister? Um, do both. Oh, you oh, don't man. get to pick it. Nope, you don't get to pick it. All right. I'm going right. to send you out on a poll. Sully's <laughs> poll region, okay? And, uh, all right, here we go. This is very going to be very, very emotional. It's the 6-3 matchup oh, in no. the Sully's poll region. Oh, my goodness. This is huge. The number 6 Seed. Wow, that's a great story. Oh, that's a great story. Going up against Greg Hargrave from the morning show, the number three seed. Oh, my God. How do you pick the Lions? How, how are the Lions going to win this game? The Steelers are so hot. Wow. Controversy all over the place. All right. I'm, I'm going with the six seed. Wow. Wow, that's a great story. Down goes wow. Hargrave. Down goes, you know what? This proves that the Heather should have advanced. Right, this proves that we maybe shouldn't have vetoed it. Listen, Sully was going to walk from the show. It that's had true. to happen. No issue with this one, but Heather saying that's all, that was awesome compared to There's no comparison. Okay. Breaking news here at 97.1 on The Ticket. Mike Sullivan hates Heather Park. Oh, <laughs> what does that have to do with anything at all? I absolutely don't. The, oh. the drop, is, I, I, don't, I don't care for the drop. Like her saying that was awesome. Okay, I mean it's fine, but it's nothing compared to Greg. Historically, people that get saved by vetoes end up losing fairly. Quickly. It works out good because Sully hates Heather Park and Heather Park hates Bogey. So oh, all there we go. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> or just the way he looks. Ooh, wee. Let's go to Troy. Wow. It's getting hot. Hi, Troy. I came here. close because I'm the great story. I, I, I'm not a, a big fan How's of How's going, gentlemen? Stoney, we don't need your commentary. Give him a damn game. All right. Shut your mouth. All right. Big mouth. We're going to go to my Coke region. <laughs> of course you are. Of course. That's where I want to go, but I can't anymore. So we go to the 4-5 uh, the matchup. It's the Sully Pole Song. I've been stroking. I'd love to get that pull. That's what I Maybe mean. 10, 12 inches. I've been stroking. Enough, guys. Can we be mature about something for once? Six more inches. I stroke it to the east. Enough. And I stroke it to the west. I'd love to get that pull. I stroke it to the woman I love the best. I've been stroking. Your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Up against Wojo. Just a function Wojo's got to have a half the gamut of tangerine. Don't really remember. Yes, it was gin involved. Or the sapphire or Bombay. Let's have another one. Jesus. Uh, the, this is a really tough one, but you know what? In the nail bar, I'm going to go with Wojo. Wojo Just a bunch of Wojo's got to have a wow. I'm going to celebrate this victory. This song, wow. was, this right song was very relevant at the Christmas party. That's yes, it I'll was. Say. Down goes Sully's pole. No. Oh, oh, Wow. <laughs> Let's just go to Pierce before somebody says something to get us in trouble. Hi, Pierce. Hey, how you guys doing? 
Hello, Pierce. I'm still celebrating my uh, victory there. Uh, Pierce, I will take you to the boat guy region because you didn't ask for it, okay? <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Here we go. Oh, this is a toughie. It's the 10 2 uh, matchup in the boat guy region. You've got the number 10 seed. Hey, I'm Coach O. Tell them about it, JoJo. You need a Hummer. Coach Ordrin selling Hummers. Uh, the cars. Going up against the number two seed. He was he, awful he in the last it, he three games it, he the against bed. the Giants. Stoney interrupted Rieger to talk about pooping the bed, and that is the two seed. Hmm. What do you say there, mister? Hmm. Tuffy. Pierce? Are you there, Pierce? I think I'm going Coach O. Hey, I'm Coach O. Tell them about it, JoJo. You need a Hummer? Now, right now, Stoney is wow. objecting. All right, hold on, no, Pierce. I'm, I'm, hold I'm, on. I'm saving myself. Wojo, th- these are, this is your game. It's your rules. No, 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 listen. I would pick poop the bed, but it is a little muddled, muddled together and stuff, I'm, where I'm, Coach O is very clear, I'm right? Cool. I'm cool with it. Yeah. Gentleman behind the glass, good. Good? That's a, bad, that's a big upset. With Wojo, yeah. Yeah, let's just say in this matchup that Stoney did indeed poop the bed. Yeah. Tell him about it, JoJo. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. The second round rolls on. We've wow. got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more second round games, and then it gets serious. Then we get to the oh, elite eight. Then I get nervous. I listen. There's a lot of big contenders that are left. Oh my! I got to tell you, to me, to me, there are two dark horses here that no one's talking about. Oh, there, uh, there's one that I've been talking about, but I'm one, not going to say no. One is Doug shooting up in a bike helmet. That's true. <laughs> and then I think it is going to be a major player as we move forward, Sully's old man voice. I, I, I'm going to send out a plea real quick. I know oh, you're what? not supposed to do this, but these callers need to get better. Sully's poll song should have gone. Hatchet Brown should have gone. Poop should have gone. Callers, you need to make smarter decisions here. Sully's poll song, there was a four against a five. It was barely they even an upset. They are trying to make upsets here. That's not even an upset, a five over a four, barely. They need to be better. Well, you may, is maybe so you need to be better at screening the voters. Oh! oh. <laughs> Second deck. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Mike, you need to put Hatchet in timeout. I think he's too bitter to continue for right now. Bye-bye. <laughs> 97. Wow. wow. Let's talk about Here's Greektown. Mike Sullivan. Greektown Casino Hotel in the month of July. They're making their table games even better. Introducing $15,000 drawing for hitting some of their side bets in the high limit area. So if you hit perfect Paris in the blackjack table or get trips in Ultimate Texas Hold'em, it's going to pay out even more. Now look, they really don't even need to do this since they already have the best table games in Detroit. But this is just their way of kicking it up another notch. It's what Greek Town does. They're always giving extra promotions. They're always, you know, giving little incentives to go down there and play. <clears throat> and don't forget that after a good night at the tables, you can also stay at one of their hotel rooms. That's a triple A four diamond hotel. Really, really nice rooms. I've stayed in there several times. Uh, great views of the city of Detroit, too. Seems like whenever I post about post a view on my Instagram story or whatever, people always ask, Oh, where is that? That's awesome. Great views of downtown from the Greek Town hotel rooms. And don't forget, when you're at Greek Town Casino. He must be at least 21 years old to gamble. The Stoney and Wojo Invitational rolls on. Mike, what is worse, those pictures of crying cheerleaders in the real NCAA tournament or crying hatchet in our tournament? The wow. crying hatchet, uh, look at that, that's terrible. Crying hatchet is tough. I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. It's, oh. it's tough to watch. It is. God. Uh, ticket text coming in. I can't la- help but laugh whenever I hear Roberto sing the Sapphire of Bombay. <laughs> Angry Hatchet is the best hatchet. Wojo, here's one for you. Congrats on beating Sully's poll. Uh, it's from Joe. Oh, 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 oh. Wojo's cheer song he is the catchiest. And the worst take uh, in 97 1 history, Strokin deserves better. <laughs> Shall Wait, we? You're saying that's the worst take? No, I'm just simply reading okay. the tickets. And speaking okay. of laughs, we actually have a new submission for a laugh that we got from a previous segment in today's show. Hmm. <laughs> Wait. That's either Wojo I don't know, I don't know or, which, which one Wojo or American Pharaoh. I yeah, I was going to say, what would you do, record a horse? Let me hear it again. <laughs> it Please. sounds like one. Is that me? I, it's you, you were Stoney. Wojo, or, no, uh, that's, Roberto thinks it's Stoney. That's Stoney. I think it's Wojo. One more time. One no. more time. I think it's Stoney. <laughs> oh no, 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 
it's Wojo. It's Wojo. You can hear Stoney laughing. That's Wojo. Wojo sounds like the horse. I'm like over him. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yep, you mind the, yeah, I'm the, the Oh my God! When did I become a horse? Go to Justin and Shelby. Ninety-seven one. Justin, how you doing? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, bud. Hello, uh, Justin. All right, Justin, we're going to take you to Sully's Pole region uh, for the seven-two matchup. It's the second seeded. What's the big deal with blackface? Up against the seven seed. Give me my steak, medium well. Oh boy, these are these are excellent choices. Uh, you know, I feel for Hatchet; he's been going through a rough time. But I'm not in the business of sympathy here. We're we're going with the two seed. Black. What's the big deal with blackface? Good excellent choice. That's choice. Right. Good choice. Yes. And you saved yes. my veto. Yes. Hey guys, if I have one question, <laughs> yeah. sure. Did you, out, did you guys put out the bat signal yet for the Doughboy? Doughboy, Doughboy, Doughboy yesterday. called yesterday during the uh, the seating uh, announcement. Unfortunately, he has a, a funeral he had to go to today, so he wouldn't be able to join us. Right. Yeah, and and how did the Wojo Here Comes the Finger drop from last year not make it? That's that's a that's a crime. You know, we thought about that. It was literally one year ago because it was the day of the tournament. Justin, can I ask you a question? I gave him the finger yesterday, yeah. though, too. Does does the Doughboy creep you out like he does me, or do you genuinely enjoy him? A little bit of both. Okay, I'm frightened of that man. I'm not going to lie to you. He's very terrifying. The, the Doughboy tweeted at me last night and said, why are people afraid of me? He's a cute little Doughboy. Oh, my. <laughs> and I'm a horse, apparently. <laughs> wow. Let's, Mike, bet on me. Bet on me. Let's go to Ray. Ray, what's going on, bud? Not much. He just stole my thunder. I literally was about to ask about the Doughboy. Yep. He yeah, was he- on yesterday, and I did stick my finger in his belly, and he said, hee, hee, hee. It was very good. That is, that is a really classic drop. I'm not going to lie. That was a really, really good drop. I always God. laugh. Well, thank you. Um, <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see, Raymond. Can I take you to the Mike's Money region? Sure. Go ahead. Let's do it. All right. This is going to be very interesting. It's a 6-3 matchup. We have the number six seed. Watch her. Mike Valenti song. It's the Mike Valenti Show, starring Mike Valenti. This thing should be called the colon explosion. <laughs> Mike Sullivan. Bangkok 96. David Hall as the hatchet man. I don't care about the city. And Roberto. Roberto shakes his hand and goes, I'm going to f*** your wife. <laughs> Going up against, from the morning show, the number three seed. He apparently also has a bunch of coke. Like, in my world, at least, coke was the real deal. Coke was the natural, the number one go-to. You like the white stuff, don't you? White powder up my nose. All in celebration of coke. Right, maybe you should... You know, I hate to say it, even though she got voted, Heather's, I'm glad to say it, has been a major part of the show. All right, who do you like, six seed or the three seed? Well, in honor of uh, Mr. Jeffrey Rieger, I have to go with the Cokes on. <laughs> <laughs> Down goes Valenti's intro. Why? You know, you're running into a Coke machine, basically. I love, <laughs> that's, I love that drop. No, it's a great pick. I, that's a great drop. It is. It's, it it's is. a great pick. I have no issue with it. The intro, to me, is more of a ha-ha, jokey, jokey thing. Mm-hmm. No I, doubt. I think the morning show, being enamored with Coke, is, is far more appropriate. I love Coke. I love Coke. Yeah, I love Coke. By the way, Rieger, not involved in the tournament this year. It was a bad year for Jeff, huh? Not, he did. not a not a not, not a drop more of the year. I'll be honest, I do believe he was on probation. <laughs> he, did any- that, he did that or in rehab. <laughs> Let's get another matchup in. Let's go to Sean as Stoney slanders everyone. Sean, how are you? Happy New Year, Walt. Happy New Year! Woohoo! Happy New Year, everybody! All right. You mentioned Coke. Let's go to my Coke region. Oh boy. This is a classic. The second seed versus the seventh seed, ladies and gentlemen, the two seed. I'm both guys. Sail out in the middle of Lake St. Clair and watch the beautiful, beautiful sunset into the west. I sail. I'm a sailor. I sail. 
up against the seven seed, your quarterback. You know, I think you're. This is a power match. It, wow. is. it really is. Wow. What do you say I'm there, gonna, Sean? This is tough, but I'm going to say Stafford still can't win the big game. I'm going boat guy again. Wow. Whoa! Wow. And Stafford has been eliminated after one victory in the postseason. The beautiful, beautiful sunset. Listen, we thought this from the beginning. Once boat guy caught Big Mo. I got a sailboat. Yep. He <laughs> might be difficult to stop. Watch the beautiful, beautiful sunset into the west. I'm boat guy. <laughs> I think he's like calling his shot there, actually. No, kind of. What cocky. if he calls in at the end of the show just to accept? Oh, my God. It that would be, would be, oh, I think I'd have an accident. It'd be an all-time moment. Yeah. I think Roberto would cry. I think we'd all cry. I would, too. Such a beautiful man. I'd mess myself. Um, oh. More more matchups as we round out the second round of the Stoney and Mojo Invitational and set up the Sweet 16 for the 5 o'clock hour. Next. Woo-hoo! Your vinyl windows took a beating this winter. The warp faded, impossible to open, and they cost you a fortune on energy bills. So you're going to line up and buy more of them? No. This summer, get windows you don't have to replace again. Magic fiberglass windows. Eight times stronger than vinyl. Three times more energy efficient. You can paint it. You can customize it. And best of all, you will never have to replace it. Magic is guaranteed for life. Just tell them I sent you. Get a house full of windows, $129 a month, two years, no interest. That's one twenty nine a month, two years, no interest, and get a lifetime guarantee to back it up. There ain't no better deal out there. Book your free consultation today, magicwindow.com. That's magic with a J, window.com. It's Magic Window, built for you, built for life. All right, Woj. Tony, let me read one quick ticket text here because I agree. Ticket Texter writes, we are all Boat Guy today. Where is Boat Guy? The bat signal is out. All right, let's pick it back up. Thank you, Boat Guy. We need to finish off and get our final entrance into the Sweet 16. Let's go to Julian. Julian, are you there? What's going on, guys? How are you, Julian? What's going on, guys? Everything's good. Uh, Julian, would you like to send a team... To the Sweet 16. Yeah, sure. I had a pick last year, so I'm glad I got through for number two. There we go. Uh, let's send you to the Stoney's Coke region, where it's a 1-9 matchup. You have the number one seed. Len by his tie, Stoney cry, no more lines of cocaine. You are a <laughs> recreational drug user. Yes, I can't touch my toe. <laughs> Going up against the number... Nine seed. Oh, I'm but, just telling you, that's my opinion. But, well, I don't care. You know, I mean, you, I know you, you got, don't you care got, about my opinion. That's okay. No, I don't just... care about my opinion. Caputo and Fithian having a slap fight. Uh, what do you say there, mister? I got to go with the number one, guys. Yeah, that's an easy one. That's a blowout. That's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Blow. <I like> yeah. <laughs> Stoney just blew him out. My gosh. Yeah, there we go. That's one easy. seed advances. All right, let's go to Mike. In Macomb, another matchup beckons. Hello, Mike. How you doing, boys? What We're are you good. saying, Michael? All right. Here we go, Mike. Sully's Pole Region. The Ooh. one, excuse me, the 9-16 matchup. Wow. This is where uh, the number one seed went down. Sully's love pole is gone. Here we go. The 16 seed. Nudies. That's Woji. Against the nine seed, uh, that would be uh, me. I get criticized because a lot of times I can go number two and then don't wipe. Wow. Power wow. matchup. That is. I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. That's Stony. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm so, I'm so proud of that. Hey, come on. Thank you. Thank you. I would say Stony does wipe the floor with me. That's for sure. Down you goes You know what that nudies. sets up. That sets oh, up. Oh, shoot, you're right. Stoney's lack of hygiene versus Karsh pounding narcotics in a bike helmet. Yeah. Oh, cool my thing. God. My favorite matchup matchups. of this tournament. Mm-hmm. Let's go wow. to Eric971. Hi, Eric. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hello, Eric. We got two more teams to send to the Sweet 16. Are you ready, mister? I am ready. 
Let's go to the boat guy region. And yeah. it's the one eight matchup. You have the number one seed. I'm boat guy. I'm boat guy. Against the number eight seed. Mexicans. Yeah. Oh, they're hmm. on they're on the boat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh well, uh, I mean, you can't go against Boat Guy. I'm uh, Boat really. Guy. You're darn right about that. Down go Mexicans, I guess. I have to say Are it that way, right? Mexicans. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, boat it, Guy it, advances. Good choice. Mexicans. Here. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move on. That was remarkable. Tim is up next. Tim. One word for it. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good, Tim. You have the pleasure or pain, whichever way you want to look at it, of uh, putting the last team in the Sweet oh, 16. Wow. Uh, we go to Mike's Money Region, and it's a 4-12 matchup. It is the fourth seed. It's uh, gotten ridiculous, man. Well, what I need right now is Bangkok. 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 Exotic Asian and Latin. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. Bangkok. Bangkok. It's uh, Sully's fascination going up against the 12th seed and upset minded. Where a legendary columnist was thirsty for more than scoops. <laughs> Hatcher, what are you doing this weekend? <laughs> Get out. Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! Yo! He wouldn't stop drinking well. my Bud Light. What was I supposed to do? Writer's block. You've never been in my basement, have you? There's room down there. Uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry. Timothy, your choice. Uh, I don't think you could pass up on Bangkok here, guys. I agree with you. I agree. As much as I like my creepy basement, that's a sully victory all the way. All right. So Mike's Money Region, one, two, three, four. Wow. Stoney's Coke Region, one, two, three, five. Wow. Then the fun begins. Boat Guy Region, one, five, ten, eleven. Sully's Paul region, 9, 12, 2, 6. Two, so one side is chalk and the other side all over the map. Doug liking drugs is like the George Mason of this tournament. Absolutely, you are correct. I think he's got a shot to go to the Final Four. Do you want to get a couple teams into the Elite Eight before the top of the hour? It, it's it's your call. We, so we can drag it out and have fun in the last hour, not right. drag it out. Let's go to Joe. Yeah, let's do that. Joe, you get the first Sweet 16 matchup. Excellent. A... Hey, uh... Well, Joe, it sounded like you were choking on a nutter butter with that laugh. Yeah, I sound like that cartoon dog, whatever it was. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Why don't we send you to the? Um, let's send you to the. <laughs> that's not a real human. That's me. That's really? you. Yes, that's you. <sighs> All right, to the Sully's Pole Region, the first team to make the Elite Eight, Joseph. You have the choice of the six and the two seed. Here's the number six seed. Wow, that's a great story. Oh, that's a great story. Against the number two seed. What's the big deal with blackface? <laughs> Jamie just asking a simple question. Hmm. And Jamie moves on. Absolutely. Whoa! What's the big deal with blackface? Down goes. <laughs> that's a great story. Is Jamie proud of this? See, is I don't this, know is where this, he stands. Is this good for Jamie? It's, it's great for him. Okay. Absolutely. That's right. He did. He danced it's, on it's, Paul's Is that right for me to be back here clapping for that? <laughs> that wins. I do yeah. feel a little uncomfortable, I'll be honest. It's good for the brand. Oh. Yeah. Damn right. No, Morning Jamie show. Had, he tweeted out earlier he was happy that he beat uh, Paul and Shelby. That's yeah, right. He tweeted that earlier. He certainly was. But, but is he really happy that he's got a shot to win this with a comment regarding blackface? Mm, yeah, I, I think I he does. Very, very on brand. I think uh, it was like Hatchet last year who did not want Colorado's ex- fine to win. Exactly. <laughs> right. All right. For, <laughs> where oh. are we going for our next trip to the final? Go to floor? Miles, 97 1. What's up, Miles? How are we going, man? Good. Hello, Miles. All right, Miles. Your chance to send somebody to the Elite Eight. Uh, we go to All my right. Coke region. For the 2 3 matchup, and oh, this is like the Battle oh, of the Grammy Awards. Wow, this is prime time on Sunday afternoon. It's a 2 3 matchup. It's the number two seed. You love them. I'm both guys. Sail out in the middle of Lake St. Clair and watch the beautiful, beautiful sunset into the west. I sail. I'm a sailor. I sail. <laughs> Going up against the third seed. 
You want to know why I dream about Zion Williamson? Absolute dream. I love nothing more. My dream, my dream is to have Zion Williamson. Zion, Zion, Zion. I want Zion Williamson. I want Zion here. Miles, I can honestly say this is the toughest matchup I think we've had so far for anyone to pick. Yep, yeah. I I think, um, oh, man. You guys might hate me for it. No. I don't want to take out both guys, but. (gasps) I got to go with Sully. Oh, um, no! Wow. Um, I have to do it. It's got to be the, the, it's gotta do it. The gentlemen behind the glass are revolting. Uh, Ryan Woolley has double middle fingers up. Uh, Wojo, Stoney. Oh, well. hey, you know the rules. We can't veto it once no, we get into the Sweet 16. Right, and it's a three beating a two. Well, How can happens. we veto that? Wow. Half court shot. It was Miles, Bryce hold on. Miles, are you proud of yourself for eliminating Bokai? No, I'm not proud of it, but, I mean, Sully's my guy, man. He's a funny kid. Okay. See, and okay. I thought I already had a couple upsets. I, I did not think I would get past. Oh, this okay. is this is heartbreaking. This is, this is That's amazing. That's true. Wow. This, this is like I'm, Kentucky I'm sorry, with guys. unibrow losing. This is remarkable. Can we, can we play the entire Boat Guy song to say goodbye to him? I don't want to say goodbye. I mean, We have to. Miles has upended this tournament. Oh, man. But Bob Boat Guy can still win the whole thing from his drop, oh, though. Oh, but I, I think the song's better than the drop. Miles wow. just ruined the opportunity and maybe the chance of Boat Guy calling. Wow. No. Yeah, no, 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 no. I to win. I wanted to say I'm sorry to you that you got yeah, but, rerounded up here. Whoa. Um, <laughs> but you know what? It prevents the Boat Guy backlash if it was an all Boat Guy final. So I don't think there wanted would that be one. backlash. You don't yeah, think he so? could have called, though. This is terrible. Oh, oh, what Miles! Else are you guys gonna be if you don't use it here? I mean, we can't. Use- we're not allowed. Yeah. We're done. When you get into the, the first eight. two rounds. Oh my God, Miles! If you could see the ticket text screen, right I'd now. like you to read. Oh it. my I'd God! I'd like you to read a couple. Oh I'm, my I'm God! Ups- I'm upset. Miles is a blank hole. I'm about to stop listening. Are you kidding? Miles sucks. What adult? Boat guy, no. Miles ruined everything that was great about today. Go to hell, Miles. Blank Miles. Miles' his real name is Inches. <laughs> blank you again, Miles. What a blanking <laughs> loser. Oh. I'm I'm crestfallen. I, I can't. I mean, I, it. I we can't do anything about it though. That's, no. that's one of Roberto's best songs ever. We cannot veto a three beating a two. Since I won, am I allowed to just concede or, or cheat? No, or no, no. Just, I think. Well, you let's know what? Just stop it and move on to like Russell Westbrook or something. I, I'm done. I don't want to do it. Hey, have you guys soured on Miguel Cabrera? <laughs> two four eight. Oh, no. You know, Jordan oh. Bones having a great game. <laughs> We're I talking the NBA it. Summer League with <laughs> Pistons Sixers, advisor Ed the, Stefanski. The Sixers got boned. <laughs> can can we at least say goodbye to Boat Guy with the full song? Can we? Yeah. We can come back top of the hour with it. Okay. I'm I'm not happy, and frankly, you guys need to fix these rules. I'm this devastated. Is, Miles and Berkeley's a mark, man. You this gotta is, let the people have their votes, yes, though. But you can't do that. It was a two-three. What are you gonna do? That's why there's no fan voting in my All-Star games. <laughs> I'm kind of with you on that you one. You can't give people nice things. Give the ticket textures a veto, then. Ah, uh, it's just... You know what? Hold on. Now 90. they're coming in in favor of Miles, a few of them. Oh, that's his family. <laughs> Good point. 97-1. <laughs> we'll, play, Miles. we'll play the Boat Guy song next. I, I need a break. Uh. 97-1. Hall Financial made client care Here's top Mike Sullivan. priority. <laughs> what it's all about, guys. Absolute top priority. And if you're a person who looks at reviews which is everybody, before you do business with someone or before you buy something, take a look at theirs. They have 700 five-star reviews. Just keep pouring in. And their mission is to get to 1,000. 1,000 five-star reviews in 2019. Now, how do they do that, you might ask? That's by providing VIP service to all of their clients, to everyone. Rates are lower than ever before in 2019. So if you're thinking about doing a summer project or home repairs, you need to call them today. They offer a free five-minute mortgage review with their home loan experts. So call 248-308-5000 or just go online and chat, davidhallmortgage.com. It's Hall Financial. Guys, I'm in the, in the process of buying a house. They are absolutely fantastic in terms of customer service. But like I said, don't take my word for it. Take all the reviews. 700 plus five-star reviews. 248-308-5000 or chat online, davidhallmortgage.com. What's going on, Bill? Hey, Mike. I'm boat guy. I sail. I'm a sailor. I sail. I got a sailboat. I sail. The sailboat is 
calm, it's peaceful, it's serene. Sail out to the middle of Lake St. Clair and watch the beautiful, beautiful sunset into the west. I'm boat guy. I sail. Out on a boat on the lake, way far away from the dock. The wind of the wind is with the sky and everything. I'm boat guy. Sail out in the middle of Lake St. Clair and watch the beautiful, beautiful sunset into the west. I sail. I'm a sailor. I sail. How that song Ugh. could be eliminated. Okay, we got to regroup. We got to read it's, a couple it's, of tickets. No, it's, 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 it's horrible. A disgrace. It is. Listen to these ticket texts. I'm a Michigan fan, and the Boat Guy song like ranks right up there with Trouble with the Snap and Heartbreaking Games. <laughs> Miles' vote against Boat Guy is like Flashback when Auburn kicks six against Bama. I've been listening for two days only to have Miles Piddle in my Cheerios. What a little bitch. Terrible. I don't, know, I don't know what to say. But we got to respect the process. And boat, boat Guy is still a part of this thing. Yes, right. he is. But that, that song, uh, it's just... I mean, this is... The only way it gets vetoed is if we get both guy to call in and say it needs to be vetoed. He, he's not alive. I'm convinced <laughs> he expired. The drop is one thing, but the song was our insurance policy. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I'm not convinced both guy listens to the show anymore. I will say this. We make a... If both guy calls in for the first time since then in the hour and convinces us That's he's alive... Yep. That's a fair veto. There's, yep. there's one open line, but he uh. ain't calling, man. No, he doesn't exist this anymore. This is like when Batman went dark and they put up the bat signal, but he didn't answer it yep. because he was like in his basement, like pounding booze or whatever happened in that movie. <sighs> Where can't, we, can't we get like the Coast Guard to help us or something? <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Coast Guard of the Boat Guard! No, boat but guard. The boat guy went sailing to the Dominican Republic. Uh, oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, God. God. Roberto, I've said this to you. Why, for was he picking up something for you? <laughs> <laughs> I've said it for weeks to, to Roberto, though. I don't think Bo Guy listens anymore. I think he got upset. I don't think he wanted the fame. And I, I think he's... Come he's, on, guys. Let's pick it up. Okay, okay come on. I'm going to read one more the somber tournament. one, and then we're going to pick it up, all right? Here's the last somber one. Whatever. Blank you, Miles. I just lied to my boss about a family commitment so I could catch the final hour, and I turn on the radio to listen to you ruin the tournament. Unbelievable. It's not ruined. There's plenty of good teams left. Come on. And the original boat guy is still alive yes. in the tournament. Yes. Get your dobbers but up. Is the Let's real go. Boat guy alive. Two four eight. <laughs> Let's go to Mike. Uh, get your dobbers up. Come on. We'll go to Dylan. All oh. right, Dylan. Dylan, what's up? Oh no, we're our dobbers are up. Dylan. <laughs> hey, how are you guys doing? Dylan, can you uh, put another team into the elite eight for us, please? I, I will try. I feel like I'm coming in to like a funeral after after that, but uh, I'll do my best. All right. Let's take you to the boat guy region, Dylan. You ready? I'm ready. You gotta have the one five matchup. You got the top seed. I'm boat guy. Against the number five seed. Okay. Dylan. Okay, I got it. Uh, I swear to God, I Dylan. Mean, after after that, I, I I can't not go with boat guy. Dylan, you oh, don't yeah. have boat guy. You don't make the right choice here. Roberto will hunt you down like yeah. Liam Neeson. No, no. I <laughs> knew you would do the right thing. Boat Dylan. guy advances. Way to go. Woo, now we're back on track. Oh, All I feel right. much better. Still right. think still think the song is better. I thought you were going to pick up your spirits now, I'm Michael. sorry. We'll go to Carl. I can't right, act like Carl. everything's Come on. okay. You're acting like Dave Warner just got promoted or something. I can't act <laughs> like everything's okay. Everything is not okay. You're just <laughs> acting like D'Antonio didn't change his staff at all. Because he didn't. Oh. <laughs> go to Carl. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Good, Carl. How are Hello, you? Hello, Carlton. You got a mic. Mike... Doing all right after that tragedy. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was tragic. Here we go. We're going to go to Mike's Money Region for another spot in the Elite Eight. It's a 2-3 matchup. Oh, this will put Mike in a good mood. It's the two seed. I sat on the kitchen table with my pappy. I remember watching Ty Cobb. You know who had loyalty? Al Kaline. My Bobby Lane line. would have never left the team. Oh, that's Sully going up against the third seed from the morning show. He apparently also has a bunch of Coke. Like in my world, at least, Coke was the real deal. Coke was the natural, the number one go-to. 
You like the white stuff, don't you? White powder up my nose. All in celebration of Coke. Right, maybe you should try it again. Maybe people just hated it back then because it was new and different. No, I used the old school white. I right. know, like the Pierce Coke. It's a lifestyle and a connection to those around you. Whoa. Wow. That's a lifestyle, no doubt. Carlton, what are you saying? Uh, well, that one came down to like a last minute three pointer, and I'm going to give it to uh, back in the day song. Yes. In the mood. Yes. Oh, in the mood. It was close. Not only is that a great choice, but you have another cocaine song somewhere in here, right? Yes. So we didn't need multiple ones. Great job, Carl. Let's go to Keith for the next matchup. Hi, Keith. Man, I feel like Miles is like the official who calls holding on a game-winning touchdown. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a unbelievable. little jerk is what it's, he is. It's a little un- jerk. Unbelievable. He's like Hugh, You're all Hugh excited, Evans. And then you see that yellow flag on yep. the field, and it's like, really? Unbelievable. He got, he, what he, you did, you little jerk? Exactly. He gutted this show. Keith? No, no, no. We're getting our daubers back up. Here we go. I all hate right. Miles. All right. I do, too. All right, Keith. Um... Let's take you to the Sully's Pole region for another entrant into the Elite Eight. Are you ready? Let's do it. It's a big long shot matchup. The 9 versus the 12. You have the number 9 seed. I get criticized because a lot of times I go number 2 and then don't wipe. Um, unhygienic mm, Stoney. Mm. Um, going to go up against the number 12 seed. The drug issue isn't really an issue because I do drugs, so I'm good with that. Oh, man. Oh, Doug Carr. Doug in a bike helmet, oh, wow. freebasing. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, what do you oh, say? Oh, that's a tough one. I'm, I'm glad you guys gave me an easy one. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> They're not easy anymore. Mm. I got to go with Stoney on this uh, one. I get Chris because a lot of times I have no number it, two that one's and then don't me. wipe. <laughs> and I laugh every time. So I got to go with Stoney See, on this one. And they're giving, but they're giving reasons, Michael. They're not it's a screwing nine over it up. A 12. He, he said he laughs every time. You just wanted Kirsch's drug problem to be revealed. On I a wanted a basis. sea of callers calling his show, congratulating him on doing drugs. Okay, <laughs> it was a dream. This went from like being a real happy day, and now everyone's like, I know. Really sad. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's picking back up. It's picking back What's up. Going on? Thing sucks. That's me right now. <laughs> Damn it. This tournament stinks. The drug issue isn't really an issue because I do drugs, so I'm good with that. Damn it. Well, you don't like Stony Wiping? That's pretty good. It's not about that, Bob. <laughs> Take a text. I hope Miles drowns in Lake St. Clair. <laughs> oh, oh my on. God. Stop it. <laughs> oh, I'm my guy. God. Let's regroup. This is this yeah. is we have incurred a tragedy on this radio program. Pick it up though now. Be you gotta finish the game. How did you do this bit all these years and not have this oh, situation? We'd be, no, we'd, be, we'd be pissed. Devastated at times. Can't believe the boat guy song is gone. I can't either. And you allowed it. You sat there. The rules. Making uh, all your noises, and you, wanna, you sat there. You want to change the rules for next year? We'll change the it's rules for next year. It's not my bid. I don't get to do that. I'm boat guy. You know what yeah. this is? This is like the Saints getting screwed on the pass interference, and the NFL changed the rules. You know what's next right, year, but you can't change it's gonna it. It's going to be called the boat guy rule. It's, 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 yeah. gr- it's grotesque. It's like, the Calvin, it's like the Calvin Johnson catch. Right. He caught it. Yes. Summer's arrived. Means you need to call Miller Landscape. Get your project started so you can enjoy it this summer. Take your weekends back. Who the hell wants to work all week and then go shovel gravel? Call 836 Miller. You're sick of dealing with unreliable contractors. You just want the job done right. Give the pros at Miller a call. Jeremy's team will come out, meet with you, tailor a package to meet your budget, and give you the art you've always wanted. And whether it's weekly maintenance, all the way to major projects like decks and patios, they do it. And they'll do it on time and on budget. Check them out on the web at GetMillerNow.com. That's GetMillerNow.com. Or just pick up the phone and call 836 Miller. That's 836 Miller. If it happens outside, it's Miller Landscape. I ho, I ho, it's home from where we go. I ho, I ho, I ho, I ho. Yeah, if you're just getting in your car. It is the Valenti program, the Stony Wojo Invitational. Best songs and drops of the Valenti program for the year. And uh, I'm, I'm, 
And unfortunately, Horse we had a, drop. a huge upset. <laughs> and it made everybody upset. Miles stinks. Miles from Berkeley decided that uh, he liked Sully better than Boat Guy. And the ticket text cannot be stopped. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's a disgrace. I was going to name my child Miles. Now I'm not. R.I.P. Boat Guy. I mean, it's unbelievable. It was the Boat Guy song that got upset by Sully's love for a Zion Williamson song. It was a three beating a two seed. It's not about the Zion song. It's not about that song being bad. It's about, like, the best team in the history of the NCAA tournament can't lose to the, to the Chattanooga Moccasins. Yeah, well, that happens well, sometimes. Well, well, then you know what? Blame the selection committee. Maybe it should have been a one seed. No, oh, everyone was. Everyone had a chance in this tournament. I, I it's all on the yes. people at some point. I, yeah, uh, well, you know what? Two seed. Miles was a plant. That's probably like your brother. Oh, do you think that? No. Sucks. Uh, Miles is the new Jim Joyce. Miles is the <laughs> Bartman of sucks. radio. It's unbelievable. We, we need Disgrace. to move on. Move on. All right, we'll go to Tyler. 97.1. Hi, Tyler. How's it going, boys? Hello, Tyler. Can we uh, send another team to the Elite Eight? Absolutely. All right. Let's head down to the Mike's Money Region. Power. I'm not even kidding. This is a powerhouse matchup. It's the 1-4 matchup. You got the top seed. And you know what? David, I want money. This is my job. I want money. Going up against the number four seed. It's uh, gotten ridiculous, man. Well, what I need right now is Bangkok. 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 Exotic Asian and Latin. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. Bangkok. Bangkok. And that's Sully uh, talking about Bangkok. Uh, what do you have there, Tyler? Wow, that's a tough one, guys. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with Sully on the upside on this one, though. It's Bangkok. It's an excellent choice. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that, an excellent is, choice. that is an excellent and, choice. And it's the only song I can guarantee, Tyler, that will ever feature the word exotic Asian and Latin. Yo, yeah, good I mean, point. His, his poll, or Bangkok. His poll got eliminated, so I got to go with the Bangkok song. Yeah, I, I'm happy to lose to that song. I think that that is. I I, I think that's a sleeper. I'm that, still I'm still not over so, Miles. Sully owns this half of the bracket. He does. It's Sully on Sully in the Mike's. He, uh, he does in the Mike's money it, it, region. You know, Mike, Mike's part of the old guy music thing. It's like oh, the Shashevsky coaching tree. Yeah, but that's not because of me. Your your old man voice is such a talent. It's a blessing. Um, Miles. Mm. We Just, still can't uh, get over Sully beating Bo Guy. It sucks. I know. Mm-hmm. Like, I got a text right. from a friend of mine that said that Miles is Larry Bates. You two sat there and watched it happen, and you did nothing about it. The rules we're, are the we're, rules. We're, we're it's your like... event. Make rules. <laughs> no, we don't change on the fly. Yeah, well, fine. Go to Jeff. This is a disgrace. Next year it'll be changed. Jeff, how are you? I'm great, guys. Thanks for taking my call. Thanks for calling. All right, for another team to the Elite Eight, this is a 10-11 matchup. In the Boat Guy region, the 10 seed from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Hey, I'm Coach Joe. Tell them about it, JoJo. You need a Hummer? Coach Joe. Ordering. Versus the 11 seed. <laughs> Kawhi Leonard. Mm. Kawhi last great, but I got to go with Coach Joe. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. He's, he is making a run. <laughs> <laughs> this happens every now. No- the horse again. This happens every now and then. A long shot seed ca- captures Big Mo and makes a run. Could Coach O be that. like Loyola of Chicago? <gasps> Where's yeah. Sister Jean? Especially if you watch the actual commercial on YouTube. It's <laughs> unbelievable. And no, do not call this dealership asking for JoJo again. We did that in the fall. Yeah. He doesn't work there. He left six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We need one more entrant into the Elite Eight. Let's go to Paul. 97-1. Paulie, how you doing? This is Paul from Shelby to the oh, rescue. Oh, Paul from Shelby. And there's only one game I can give you. There's only one game left to go to the Elite Eight. Hold on, Bob, because I think this is in the bylaws. A defeated contestant from the first round who is not affiliated with 97-1 can write a grievous wrong. Check the bylaws. Uh, nope, nope. You cannot put the only way Boat Guy gets back in with his song is if he calls in. 
Mr. Gorbachev, put <laughs> boat guy back in. The yeah. canvas can do miracles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you would have bought Bob some lunch, you could have like swayed his vote. You could have paid him off. <laughs> Paul's done that, that more true. than once. All right, Paul. All right, what do you got for me? Here we go. Miles, you suck. Yeah, Miles <laughs> sucks. All right, Paul, for the last spot in the Elite Eight, and I'm just going to step aside because this is a Stoney versus Wojo matchup. It's the 1-5 okay. in the Stoney's Coke region. You have the top seed. Len by his tie, Stoney cry, no more lines of cocaine. You are a <laughs> recreational drug user. Yes, I can't touch my toes. Going up against the number five seed. Just a function, Wojo's got to have a half the game. Tangerine. Don't really remember. Yes, it was gin involved. On the sapphire of Bombay. Let's have another one. <laughs> what do you say there, Paul? It's all riding on you. Oh, my. Uh, I'm Bob, you're going coming. home. Stoney, you're moving on. Why? Wow. Oh, you voted for Coke? <laughs> oh, Coke. my God, Paul. Coke. Coke's always better than gin. <laughs> wow. Well, it is I'm a one over a five. I can because your show is incredibly popular like today. <laughs> oh, by the way, keep the tape rolling because Sandelson, next year I'm coming for you, buddy. Oh, oh that's right. Jamie Bibb. Jamie right. kicked your ass in the first round. You know, it, it, yes, he did. This this is the issue I take. Thanks, Paul. Uh, thank you. Yeah. This is the issue I take. Miles has effed up this entire thing because now you're going to see an inferior team move into the Final Four. Inferior. Well, Inferior. No, 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 no. Not where he screwed up because there's one there that's very good. It's nonsense. Yeah. It's all nonsense. Oh boy. This is should like, we should we put a team into the uh final four? How do you want to do it? Yeah, I mean we got a couple of minutes. We could yeah. probably set the final four. Well, we have the Elite Eight right now. The Elite Eight is um from the drop side, boat guy a top seed versus coach O a ten seed. Then we have Stony wiping or not wiping a nine seed mm. against Jamie's blackface a two seed. And mm. then in the other side of the bracket in the Stony's Coke region, it's Stony's Coke song versus Zion Sully. Uh, it's a one three. And Thanks, then, Miles. Thanks, and you, Miles. And then you have uh, in Mike's Money region, you have a two four. You have uh, in the mood music, the old man stuff at the two and the four seed, the. Sully Bangkok. I think what we need to do, wow. honestly, we need to crown the winner next segment. So I think you do two right here. Okay. And then, okay. Let we, then we can at least wrap it up a little okay. bit and we're not up against the okay. top of the hour. So, yeah, let's let's just, we'll go to Ray. Ray's got to put somebody in the final four. Stoney, go get him. Give him a game to put in that. Ray, don't be nervous. Are you nervous? Nope. I'm still pissed about Miles. But My, I'm, Miles I'm stinks, there. Ray. No, no. Listen, if anybody knows Miles personally, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't do anything. All Where's right. Boat Guy? Save us, Boat Guy! All right, Raymond, here we go. Mike's Money Region. Who will be the champ to go to the Final Four? It's the two seed. I sat on the kitchen table with my pappy. I remember watching Ty Cobb. You know who had loyalty? Al Kaline. Bobby Lane would have never left the team. Al K line line wow. gets me every time. Wow. Going up against the fourth seed. It's a gotten ridiculous, man. Well, what I need right now is Bangkok, Bangkok, Bangkok. Exotic Asian and Latin. Everything's cool, everything's fine. Bangkok, Bangkok, I gotta be honest. That Power is matchup. that is an unbel that's Kentucky Duke. Duke. Yeah. Oh, yep. wow. Well, guys, I'm I'm an older guy myself, so I'm going to go with sitting with my pappy. Wow, there it is. Yeah, it's a two, two seed. seed. He has upended Bangkok. Wow. On the kitchen. And he's celebrating like it's 1924. Sully, delight everyone. Please sing for us, Sully. Sing for us. <laughs> Who remembers going to Briggs Stadium to watch a game? <laughs> Tell us about the Olympia. Olympia was the best arena ever. Sparky Anderson was the best man I ever saw in person. Did you prefer Major League Baseball before it was integrated? Too many steroids nowadays. What do you, what do you think of the designated hitter? 
I hate the DH and the baseballs are juiced. <laughs> actually, that's Verlander. That's actually Kurt Verlander. <laughs> you know what? I, Bangkok was Look my sleeper. Look at that shoelace out there with the hair out of his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Bring Har- back Rick Leach. Tom Harmon would have never tied his untied his shoes. <laughs> All right, let's get a- it's moving on. All right, let's get another final four team before we'll we go break. To Charlie going. in Troy. Charlie, how you doing? Hello, boys. It's traveling Charlie. Oh, how are you? Oh, a voice from the past. Traveling uh, Charlie. What's up, TC? Hey, baby. I, I, I want to vote for Real Quiet. But uh, I yes, that was one of the classics is, back in the day. Is Real Quiet still alive? I, I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> I'm Real Quiet now. <laughs> All oh, right. Not as, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Travel I'm and Charlie, playing. our good friend, you need to send a team to the Final Four from Stoney's Coke region. All right. Uh, no drugs. No drugs. It's no. the 1-3 matchup. You got the top seed. When Unbiased died, I've not done cocaine since 1990, once since 1986. When Unbiased died, Stoney stopped doing lines of cocaine. cocaine. He used drugs at the time, uh, not as not a lot. But it was gonna be rough giving up the dead. The cautionary tale, obviously, going up against the number three seed. You want to know why I dream about Zion Williamson? Absolute dream. I love nothing more. My dream, my dream is to have Zion Williamson. Zion, Zion. What do you say there, Charles? I say Miles stinks. <laughs> yeah, oh, me too. God. Well, Miles, holy smokes, that upset is just, it's still Devastating. brewing. Uh, it's a disgrace. Mm-hmm. Uh, boy, oh boy. I, my memories of Eric Clapton are pretty good because driving to Florida, listening to that song through the mountains. That's got to be the winner, boys. There it is. Eric Stoney and the uh, cocaine, baby. <sighs> all right. We we do have a number one seed in the final four. For all the upsets, two teams in the final four right now, a one seed and a two seed. Traveling Charlie, may I ask you a question? Oh, boy. In a, in a, in, in a hypothetical world, if Miles hadn't boned the entire city of Detroit and it was the cocaine song versus the boat guy song, in a hypothetical world, where would you have gone? Well, knowing as, as Wojo knows, I, I managed to screw these things up. He has. He has. Yes, <laughs> you did. I did single handedly. Uh, I would probably have the right pick, of course, is boat guy, but I would have probably done the cocaine. Okay. No, but Charlie, that's okay. 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 No, yeah. I, I had to ask, and, and in a way, in a way. Miles is off the hook. Right. It would have been an unavoidable moment that then the wrath of Detroit would be towards Charlie. Right. But at at least Paul Guy would have made the the Elite Eight. Charlie, which one did you screw up, by the way? He did back in the day. uh, He's gone. I think he lost real quiet. Something like that. Let's let's crown our champion next segment. Yes, we will. Boat Guy, if you're out there, we need you. Please, Boat Guy. Please. (laughs) 97-1. Well, I think everybody needs a drink after all of these uh, matchups and upsets and all that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some copper crap. Here's distiller. Mike Sullivan. As soon as I get home about an hour from now, I'm going to take that copper craft and I'm going to pour it in a rocks glass over a couple ice cubes and have some bourbon. Fantastic. And when you're down at Comerica Park, don't forget to check out Copper Craft Distillery Bar up in right field. Just can't miss it. As soon as you walk in the park, you'll see it. Great chance to try out Copper Craft Distillery from Holland, Michigan. And, of course, learn more. CoppercraftDistillery.com. Check them out on social media. And they also have some cool uh, canned cocktails at the park as well. Canned gin and tonic, perfect for Wojo. They have a whiskey lemonade canned cocktail. Really, really good products. And like I said, it's always great to support a Michigan product as well. CoppercraftDistillery.com. Check them out today. Coppercraft Distillery, Holland, Michigan. Okay, we are in the final four. We have to get right to it. The second annual Stoney and Wojo Invitational. Are you gentlemen ready? We're yes, ready. we are. Half the final four is in. We need the other half. Yes, right we do. to Andrew 97 1. What's up, Andrew? 
You know what? I'm pretty upset right now. Miles is a moron. Just, he, we'll leave it at that. We are in But then Traveling agreement. Charlie would have screwed us, Andrew. It was well, like we, you know, I would have been just as mad at Traveling Charlie too. Like, yeah. You know what? Fair enough. Send back them both to back to back dingling. Send them both packing. That's yeah. right. And I like the Doug Doug Karsh drop too. Uh, that, one, that one shouldn't be He's gone, gone either. Even the thought of Doug riding his bike doing drugs like it's hilarious. <laughs> All right, yeah. here we go. They ruined it. They ruined it. Mm-hmm. No, it's not ruined. The Boat Guy Region Champion is up to you, my friend. The top seed. I'm Boat Guy. Against <laughs> the 10th seed. Hey, I'm Coach Joe. Tell him about it, JoJo. You need a Hummer? Are you kidding me right now? No. Oh, man. I'm, I'm putting Boat Guy through. We're going with Boat Yay! Guy. He's winning this thing. All there right. I've Don't got pull a, a sailboat. Yeah. Don't pull a miles. Beautiful. beautiful you're more on miles. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> We're going to call it pulling a miles from yeah, now on. Andrews, I'm Boat Guy. Thank you for maintaining yeah. some credibility in this <laughs> tournament. Well, Joe, Michael, two, we have three teams in the final four. Two ones and a two. Yeah. It's a little chalky. It's, yeah. Which is good. Let's go to Scott. He'll have the final, final four selection. Scotty. What's going on? Scotty, don't be nervous. You're putting the last team in the Final Four. Oh. Are you ready? Boat guy needs his own bat signal. I yeah. agree with you. I've All got right. a sailboat. <laughs> Let's do it. From the Sully's Pole region, who wins? It's the nine versus the two. You have the number nine seed. I get criticized because a lot of times it's how you can go number two and then don't wipe. Going up against the number two seed. What's the big deal with blackface? Tony versus Jamie. Wow. Mm. That's a tough one. Um, The final four has enough uh, ones and twos. I'm going with Tony. Upset. Wow. Uh, oh, oh, you I went have. with the... Wow, I'm VCU. Wow. Down goes blackface. As it should. Wow. <laughs> well, no, as it should. It shouldn't be used, right? I think we just got something hey. for next year. At least I'm not Miles. That's all I got to say. <laughs> he didn't. All right, so the final four is set. We have Boat Guy versus Stoney's lack of wiping. We have Stoney's love of cocaine and Sully's old man voice. That mm. is the final four. A one, a one, a two, and a nine. That's pretty good. I mean, that's that's interesting. Are you prepared? Yeah, let's go. All right, David, here's what I would like to do. If you could do this for me. Can we take the last three callers that are on hold? We're not going to get to them. I want to create some open space that if Bill from St. Clair is out there, Boat Guy, or anyone who knows Boat Guy, please, please, we we want to hear from yes, you. Yes, we do. It, I mean, this is as much a wellness check as anything else. Right. I'm worried that Boat Guy expired. I'm worried that he it's either mm. that or he hates our guts because of what Roberto has done to we him. Want to wish him good, we want to wish him good luck. Yeah. Now let's get to the people. We'll go to Tim. Tim mm. gets to pick a Final Four game. Timothy? Guys, I'm still trying to figure out if I'm more disappointed by Boat Guy getting the tournament stolen from him. Um. Yeah, I'm not playing that drop, Tim. Uh, <laughs> no, we're not going to do I, that. I can't do it. All right, Timothy, for the first spot in the championship game, a Final Four showdown, the number one seed. When Unbiased died, I've not done cocaine since 1990, once since 1986. When Unbiased died, Stoney stopped doing lines of cocaine. I used drugs at the time, uh, not as... Not a lot. But it was gonna be rough giving up the devil's dandruff cocaine. I like snorting cocaine. I think this literally is the championship matchup because he's going up against the number two seed. I sat on the kitchen table with my pappy. I remember watching Ty Cobb. You know who had loyalty? Al Kaline. Bobby Lane would have never left the team. That this is this is the championship game in my mind. Go ahead. Who do you got, Timothy? Well, as good as cocaine can be, 
the Al K line line is too good to not advance, so I got to go with the, the old man voice for Sully. I love it. Yes, I, I love do it. too. Absolutely. I, I absolutely and, and, love it. And the fact that he pointed out my favorite line in the drop, the, uh, the Al K line thing is great. I love that pick. He didn't pull a miles. Sully, how does your 80 year old self feel about being in the championship oh, game? Oh, what an honor. What a privilege. And, if, and what we'll do for the championship is Roberto said that we have the whole. Mo- it was a moment of the day that we played. We'll play a longer version okay. for it, too. Then let's get the other half of the championship game here. We will then preview the championship game and name the champion. Fair? Yep. All right, let's go to Justin. He's in Wyandotte. He gets the other Final Four matchup. Justin, you there? What's going on? Yep, here. What would you think of Miles, by the way, real quick? Oh, jeez. Well, I'm just... Uh, I'm not going to lie. I think both guys are nerd. Okay. All right, let's disconnect that one. No. Wait. What's the problem? He's anti Boca and he already has established his bias. This isn't my game. I- I'm not allowed to make that Whoa. call. I don't know what's happening here. He's gone. What? Oh my God. Okay. I- that was Wojo. That was Wojo. No, no. I w- because of the. R- I wanted to see if he had a bias going in. All right. Well, th- can I go to Rich? Yes. Do you want me to- Do we have to like get a blood test for this guy yes, to take this we phone do. call? All right, Rich, go ahead. I don't know what just happened. Wow. Man, that means if he didn't get bounced, I would have had the championship. Probably. Damn. <laughs> Stoney, give okay. him the game. All right. It's the top seed versus I'm both guy against the nine oh. seed. I get criticized because a lot of times it's how you can go number two and then don't wipe. Choose wisely, Rich. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. How do I go here? I mean, think Metro Detroit will hate me if I don't pick both guy, and Stoney will hate me if I don't pick him. <laughs> no, he won't. Stoney will appreciate it well, if you don't pick let, him. Let me get some dramatics here. Let me see if I can put something in this real fast. All right. Whoa, he has trouble with the snap, and the ball is free. It's picked up by Stoney, not knowing how to wipe, and he scores on the last play of the game. Unbelievable. I get criticized because a lot of times it's how you can go number two See, Wojo, and then you don't should, wipe. You should have taken the other guy. I'm, le- ah. I, 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 I'm, le- I'm leaving. Stoney I, I, the title. I'm not participating. <laughs> to, to hell with this No, game. no. Do you saw what happened there? There was both guy backlash. Every caller then was determined sucks, to eliminate dude. him. I know. I thought if both guy didn't win, I'd be really bummed out. But I will say, I am happy with. I like Stoney's one, and I like the old. I, I like do the, too. I do too. I'm, I'm pretty good. But I think these people all became biased if, against if him. If any other ones are going to win, it should be those. Go all right. home. All right. Let's. <laughs> who's picking the championship game? Well, Who are we going to preview it when we come back? This sucks. The cha- oh. <laughs> You had the number nine seed out of the Sully's poll region. That's that guy has given you so much, and now you turn your back on him. They did. Can I say one thing before we go to break really quick? Yeah. I just want to say what a great job Mike Sullivan has done today with all the drops and yep. playing everything. Damn right. He hasn't mm-hmm. messed up once. You did He's great job. Fat, you know? Watch everybody. Great yeah. job. We want to say Miles can kiss all of our fat asses. No, no, well, no. We all know cause, that. Because your boy Traveler Charlie would have still screwed the pooch. But he would have done it later. And in fact, the, yeah. the fact that Wojo tried to do the litmus test to make sure that the other guy took Boat Guy. Well, he just he said, he, I think Boat Guy's a nerd. So he was going to yeah, vote against him. All right, will you please, let, let me take care of some business. I'm emotionally yeah. just not. I, I, I can't too. do this. Your vinyl windows took a beating this winter. They're warp mm. faded, impossible to open, and they cost you a ton on your energy bills. So now you got to replace them. What are you going to do? you going to line up and buy some more of that? No. This summer, get windows you don't have to replace again. Magic fiberglass windows. Magic fiberglass, eight times stronger than vinyl. Three times more energy efficient. You can paint it, you can customize it, and best of all, you will never have to replace it. All you got to do right now, you tell Magic I sent you, you get a house full of windows, one twenty nine a month, two years, no interest. Again, you tell them I sent you, you get a house full of windows, one twenty nine a month, two years, no interest. That's it, that's all. Lifetime guarantee to back it up as well. Go to magicwindow.com. That's magic with a J, window.com. It's Magic Window, built for you, built for life. Now available for download. Always aggravated. A Mike Valenti signature podcast. Get it on radio.com and Apple iTunes.
Before we wrap this up, Michael and Stoney and everybody that did a fantastic job, can I read one ticket text that might make you feel better about boat, boat guy losing? Here it is. I'm boat guy. The boat guy, listen up. Here's the ticket text. Boat guy sucks. He's not even a listener as many times as you guys have asked him to call, and he hasn't. Get the blank out of here, boat guy. Maybe boat guy's on vacation. No, no, no. I think that's a fair argument. He has. We begged him to call. I don't think he's a listener. I think he listened that day. Right. Or if he was a listener, he's not anymore because I think he's mad at Roberto. <laughs> but if you're not going to call in now, then I can't save you. I nope. can't help you. Dude, can. dude, you guys this make... would have been the time. Yep. Did, you make fun... guy. Did you make fun of him in the call to him at all? That he would be offended and stop yeah, listening? Yeah. Okay, I'm just asking. I'm not, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I probably would have enjoyed hearing that. Well, then, look, let's preview the championship game. It's been a long, sordid, twisted road yep. to get here. Mm. If you, I farted. Thank you, Heather. If no. you told me one of my drops or my songs that I was included in would have got to the finals, this certainly wouldn't have been one of them. No, it was a, it was a nine seed, and it was... It, Actually, Stony things kind of mashed together. Here, here, here's the full nine seed Stony in the championship game. I get criticized because a lot of times I can go number two and then don't wipe. And see, now that's from the drop side of it, mm-hmm. and he will be going up against the number two seed, which is a song. And here's the full version of the back in the day song. My point, my point is, Doc. I mean, do you agree with that? I mean, do you believe you're an old school guy? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I sat on the kitchen table with my dad in 1957 and watched the Lions, or listened to the Lions. Now do it. All right. I mean, Doc, I appreciate it, but you you, you, you did it. I sat on the kitchen table with my pappy. I remember watching Ty Cobb. (laughs) You know who had loyalty? Al Kaline. Bobby Lane would have never left the team. Hey, Dad, who's that number 42 out there playing first base? I can't keep all these colored guys straight. Oh, that's, oh, oh my God. Okay, all right, that's enough. Thank you for that. Once again, Roberto manages to just go way too far. By the way, there it is. The response: People are aboard now. The hell, the hell with the boat guy. If he wasn't going to call in, I'm done. boat guy. Sorry, boat guy. <laughs> you had your chance. So the final. We now, Wojo, you you choose it because apparently you get. Ulti- Can I go to this caller on line six? Michael, here's what we want to do. We want you to go to the caller and you to present the game to him because I don't want to be responsible. Okay, All right. I don't want to touch it. Steve in Roseville. The fate of this tournament is in your hands. Mm. Mm -mm. What to do, baby? (laughs) That's right. Uh. All right. Are you ready, fun guy? All ready. All right. I present to you one half the champion of the drop side of the tournament. The number nine seed. Sometimes I can go number two and then don't wipe. Versus the champion of the song side of the bracket. The two seed. And I would say is installed as the favorite in the championship game. I sat on the kitchen table with my pappy. I remember watching Ty Cobb. You know who had loyalty? Al Kaline. Bobby Lane would have never left the team. All right, drum roll, please. Wow. Steve in Roseville mm. holds all the cards. The second Boy, I annual. Know, I, I know. This is a tainted championship already. It's going to be like Louisville in 13. We're going to get taken back. But I got to go with the master of the drop, the maestro of the McShay impression. I got to go with the old timey. Oh, yes! There it is. Finally, at the end, we had some sanity. Sally, Woo-hoo! lay it down for everybody. Finally, some loyalty. That's how you win championships. Mwah! There's Adolf Rupp cutting down the net, even though he's dead. Look at that, Wojo. This is even better than the 35 World Series. I feel like the 1968 Tigers. <laughs> This is a worthy champion for the all hell we went through. The hell with Gretzky. It's going to hell. 
What about Ted Lindsay? I actually think this is a tremendous a champion. Good champion. Absolutely. Our number two seed out of Mike's money region. We he, got Stoney's uh, wiping he, out of the he way. Wiped, he wiped out my wipe. He's a, thank God for that. I want to thank Bill Freehand who made this possible. <laughs> Adolph Rupp was the best coach ever. Danny McLean made some mistakes, but I still love him. <laughs> All right, there is your champion, wow. gentlemen. By the way, thanks to Hatchet, Sully, Great job, Roberto, Michael, yeah. thank you for inviting us. Yes, we, we always enjoy it. it. We'll do it once oh a year, my hopefully. God. Now, that, now all we need to do is create enough content to do this again next year. I think you'll be able to do it. I am positive you'll be able to do we it. We got a good start today, right? And, and I there like are some. Yes, I like that a song won this year. Last year, a drop won. Right this year, a song won. It's good to have a little variety. And I like the fact that Sully could enter the tournament as a defending champion because we haven't heard the last of his old man voice. No, oh, that's, that's just true. a matter of time. That's I feel very like I'm losing my voice after all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that would has to be difficult. What about YA Tittle? <laughs> Ticket text, by the way. Congratulations, old guy, a worthy champion. Al Kaline drop indeed. The drop of the year. That is it it is the winner. Uh wow. fabulous work by everyone involved. Well, and thanks to the listeners for calling in. I mean, we had you had ten full tremendous. lines for mm-hmm. four freaking hours. Yep. You, can't, you can't do that talking pistons, I'll tell you that much. Mm. Okay. Oh, did they make the trade yet or no? No. Oh, no. Oh, my okay. God, let him go to Miami. I least. can't believe they're tearing down Joe Lewis Arena. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys miss anything today, uh, Bogey will have a full post game. His entire show will be yep. uh, post game. Yeah, he's going to be thrilled. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, gentlemen, it's fabulous. A lot of fun. Another wonderful Always edition. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sully, you enjoy your golf trip. You'll be a subject of the show tomorrow. Yes. Roberto, get to work. We got a lot to do oh, tomorrow. Got another year ahead of you, mister. Good night, everybody. Woo! Well, now with Xfinity X5, you know, I can't do it in that voice. I'd lose my damn voice. But with uh, Xfinity, my brother-in-law is yeah. Alexander Graham Bell. I actually want fast Wi-Fi. My internet never works. What is this password I have to put in? What right. happened to dial-up? Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't have to get dial-up. You can get great, fast, reliable internet with Xfinity x whether you're young, whether you're old, whatever. Get started with Xfinity Internet TV. Just 40 bucks a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement, and you get the speed, the coverage, and control that you want and that you need with Xfinity x So go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or just drop by your local Xfinity store. They'll be happy to answer all your questions, help you out with anything that you, you have in terms of transfer and services and all that good stuff. But it's 1-800-XFINITY, Xfinity.com, or stop into your local Xfinity store. Xfinity x is great, man. More than just fast and reliable Wi-Fi. But you have Wi-Fi that you can control, and you do get enhanced network security and stuff like that with Xfinity x 1-800-XFINITY, Xfinity.com, or just stop into your local Xfinity store today.